What's up, everybody? We are live. About to talk about some comics and movies and video games. Guys, we come with the latest every week, right, Axel? Every week. We come with the latest every single week in comics, video games, movies, and TV. And whatever you want to talk about, we're going to talk about it with you. Pretty much. I mean, we love pretty much all manner of, of comics. Geekdom, and comics. Yeah, I mean, there's realistically, pick a, pick a, uh, even one of the very sub genre pulp fictiony kind of ones, and one of me or him will probably have heard of it or like absolutely it. Guys. like we like I said, I'm I'm always looking for the newest shit. Like uh, so my uh, one of my newest kicks. I'll start on this. We'll start off weird today. Well, let's introduce ourselves real quick. Yeah, let's do. We, we have are our comic convos, and this is Come episode convos. nine, guys. Episode, episode nine. nine, like episode nine. Can you believe we're in episode Dude, nine? I feel really good about. It. I mean, granted, we've had our drops. Yeah, I mean, we've had issues, hey. and we've had. Good things like last week was probably one of our best weeks. Exactly, for and things have to you know progress through time. They do. They have to progress. But I'm Leo. Uh, I go by Leo Rydell on the internet. Um, and then this is Axel. He goes by Axel Grave. And we're here to talk comics, guys. So much comics. Oh my goodness! This week oh. there's so much, y'all. I mean, like just to throw a couple things out. You know, there's like the new Venom movie announcement. Oh. There's uh, we got. What Kong just came out? Dude, like Kong just so came out. Much is going oh, on. Right there's now. so much, and then obviously the recent releases of Logan. Logan, we talked yep. about. I mean, Absolutely. obviously it's been out a while now, two weeks pretty much. But it's still new. Sitting in, obviously, well. we're not gonna do any spoilers. And uh, yeah, still sitting well, still selling well, mm -hmm. uh, and still, uh, you know, obviously everyone has critics, and obviously every movie has flaws. Yeah. But man, it is a good movie. It holds up. I mean, I've I like a lot of people, and like I said, a lot of people don't like the comparison. But a lot of people make a good comparison towards the Dark Knight series. Yeah, yeah, uh, totally. And several totally. of them, uh, as well as other series. And honestly, like I said, even those series, I think they're good, but they're not. They're different. Uh, Logan is on a different level of dark. I mean, it's like a western theme, like really, like only a few people left. Period. Type of yeah, that's it's like no, different than no the dark heroes. Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, yeah. whereas the Dark Knight is a very not only is it a trilogy, you know, obviously, but there's so much going on with it that, you know, that's more subtext and more than just dark. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Dark Knight is very much darkness hope, whereas Logan, very dark. Very, very dark. Like, you know, uh, there's no yeah. win in this. There's, there's, that's the kind of vibe you get. And even from the trailer, I mean, the, they're all gone, Charles. It's like, yeah, it's just like totally this, like new fresh timeline but it almost reminds you of pieces of like house of m and old man logan to the point where just there's nobody there yeah there's nothing going like even the even, it seems like even the heroes gone. just gone and somehow in uh that's tough for us to take as obviously fans like but and it also brings to mind the what we were talking about uh from deadpool Man, it's almost like the studio could only afford For two X Men, <laughs> <laughs> and you you almost wonder too. I wonder if they did. You, you yeah, know, they saved that quite right. a bit of money. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. And even using Caliban, I mean, would have probably cost them some amount of money. Yeah, that. And Caliban was not even in the movie as much as the you know main three. Oh yeah, I mean, five scenes, maybe six. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, this week we had Kong. You guys, what did everybody think? I mean, I went to see King Kong, and I actually thought it was pretty good. I know Axel's... I have not seen it not yet. Not seen it but quite yet, will. but we're going to definitely go see that, man. I, I thought it was good. It was, it's worth a couple of views, guys. Um, my favorite thing about Kong is Kong. So that's the best thing is, like, the problem with the Godzilla movies, and I think you'll agree, is that Godzilla was, like, not a huge presence in the movie. Like, he had his scenes, and he came in and did his stuff, but, like, the focus wasn't so hugely on Godzilla, and it took him forever to get in the movie. I mean, you barely saw It was saw like him. an hour. And then you still barely and then, saw yeah, yeah, we got a couple pieces, and then the roaring scene. And, and don't get me wrong, the some things. scenes that you see were great graphics, and the audio Absolutely. won awards. But technical uh, technical effect, or, you know, the technical stuff is not going to make up for lacking the spirit of a Godzilla movie being focused around Godzilla. Yeah, it's not going to... It's really not going to go that far into it in the Godzilla movies, but the Kong one did a very good job of incorporating Kong as kind of the center of the film. Like, Kong, they go to the island to find Kong. 
and this is not too much of a spoiler because that's why they went anyway they just they, they want to find kong and so that's the best part of king kong is or excuse me kong skull island versus king kong 2003 there's this huge focus on kong kong is the focus of the movie is not just like the saving grace if you will like the king kong movie it takes another movie that takes a long time to see the monster like we want to see the monster right away like we maybe not like you know i mean even for first scene would be nice a little clip you know a little cut a snippet but we don't want to wait an hour hour and a half no, to see the monster. like here's the thing and we were making comparisons to the older 2000 i think it is 2000 godzilla, godzilla. Which is a great Godzilla movie. Go watch it. It is. Seriously, a lot of, it got panned by critics, and a lot of people don't think it's good, but I thought it was I great. Loved it. I, the, I loved here's it. Here's the one. thing. It's not a classic Japanese-style Godzilla. It's not. in the But that what doesn't work in our... We don't... Our culture doesn't really work with Japanese. We're not... It's not Japanese culture. It doesn't. It's like... It would be like... It's what, the what same reason classic, classic Power, Power Rangers, Rangers doesn't stand up. Yeah. That would stand up in Japan. Not here. absolutely, <laughs> uh, and it's just because it's a style. It's a very every different cultures have styles, and different styles are appreciated by different people. And so, like, I do appreciate original Godzilla stuff, a lot of it, you know. But the new Godzilla is very much a Godzilla for American audience, you know, action, uh, drama, plot, you mm -hmm. know, slight love and human scenes. characters, so yeah. that you have a relatable presence, right? Not just people yelling and and screaming, right? Oh, right, Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla! 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 <laughs> I mean, they still... Honestly, like I said, even not just... Okay, so everything's going well. No, we gotta make sure everything's uh, working a lot of the time. Because... Yeah, we gotta do a quick tech check. You know, All tech the time. Check. And we're, we're also, obviously, gonna be trying to check comments and stuff. Um, sorry if we have, have missed your comments so okay, far. So, well. so no, far, we we're... Sure so far, so good! Uh, yep, uh... You know, it's been a great, like... We talked about it. We're gonna have a hard time focusing on stuff because there's so much stuff out, there's a but lot nothing of stuff close out, enough to or... really theme, theme the episode. Like maybe yeah. okay, if Power Rangers, Power Rangers might get a theme episode. Might. Depends on how good it is. It, it really depends, and we won't do. It, it, I guess it's like the better it is, the better themed it will be. It might be a major subject, there's especially a... after. It comes well, out. it also helps when there's a lot of content out that people know about. Besides yeah. It. And besides the posters, they're just kind of just shoving out a bunch of posters right now. Yeah, we got tiny clip previews and stuff, but nothing major. Yeah, trailers and stuff like that, but nothing. Yeah, nothing that's super huge. Nothing that I could say was really surprising to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, nothing that was like super surprising. But guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. Comic combos, we're loving the conversation. Let us know what you thought about Kong if you saw it. Oh yeah. Or if you're gonna go see it, what might you know, what might tempt you to go see it and what might not. Or what is stopping you from seeing it right away. Yep. I I definitely feel you if for the people who haven't gone or didn't go right away, because it took me until Sunday to go, dude. Like I was I, usually I'm a Thursday or Friday type oh, yeah, of movie over and I mm -mm. this one I was waiting, I didn't really mind. I'm like, There's a lot of ones okay. where you don't really mind if if there's nothing really going on yet, you know what I mean? Because the thing is, I hadn't heard a lot on the reviews, early reviews or anything. Aww. Nothing explosive in any direction. Uh, I've heard from you now that it's a pretty good movie and worth seeing, but besides that, I've literally heard very little about it. I know a little bit about the story from previews and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's really an unknown, and even the fact it's that we don't... It's underground. Wanna... Just yeah. staying low-key, man. Just flying well, like that. Well, hopefully it's it's good. Uh, besides that, though, we would try to dive into... You know those more comic themed things. Yeah, and absolutely. We've we've obviously have the recent release of Logan, but we also have coming up Guardians of the Galaxy would be the next superhero movie, wouldn't it? Uh, After Teen Titans, I mean, I know there's Teen Titans. Right, we have the Power Judas Rangers contract, and, and then we have. And I haven't seen anything on the Judas contract, but they just kind of put those out. Anyway. I mean, but they did give it a release date. I mean, they'll obviously go back on their release date for the Judas contract. They always go back like a week yeah. or two. What's up, Abdullah? Welcome in, man. Hey, thanks for coming in. Uh, and we didn't mention it. I guess we should have mentioned it like last time. We're doing another giveaway. Another giveaway, guys. This one, this time a little bit better. We're doing yeah, some we're doing shirts. shirts. Uh, we're probably gonna give away two shirts. Two yeah. shirts. Yeah, we're, we're giving away two shirts. shirts. Uh, and you will be entered in a random prize drawing, uh, depending on if you like, comment, or share, I believe. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, or share. Uh, but unfortunately, we have to mention this, you have to like the page or we're unable to tag you and let you know where Yeah, so if you stuff. win the shirt, you just gotta just give us a like and then we'll get it to you. I mean, we'll ship. If you're in Denver, we'll deliver it to you. We got a couple good ones here. 
We got this Dark Trooper, from Death Trooper from the Rogue One. Yep. Ah, yeah, that's super dope. Millennium Falcon. Look at that. Mm. Clean retro look, 1990s style kind of deal. And then we also got Doctor Strange. I mean, guys, that just came out. You know, that's a good one. Classic. And, of course, classic old Captain America. The Blue Boy Scout of Marvel, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <yep. laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, Abdullah. I yes. love the haircut as well, man. Thank you. But yeah, um, we're uh, getting into even more stuff. I mean, besides Judas Contract, which DC just kind of puts out their animated they, films. Would you agree? They just uh, yeah. There's not oh, always a lot of build. They're like, push. we're gonna put it out. We're gonna put out one preview, maybe two. They're pushing on Wonder Woman right now, hard. dude. But it's because it's gonna come out. That's their it next is. film. That's their next big one. Hopefully, what's what? up, Alex? Good to see you. Tonight, Thank everyone man. for coming in. Uh, what are we really looking for, realistically, from this Wonder Woman movie? What does it need from us, you know what I mean, as fans? What are we expecting for it to be good? Yeah, you know... Because despite what people... You know, I say don't expect things, and that's yeah. how you enjoy a movie. Unfortunately, a lot movies like this have to at, be catered to fan expectations. They do. They have to basically be fanfare, and the fact that they have to really reach out to what the fans want, and they have to fulfill that need. Right, and so what do the fans want from Wonder Woman? Exactly, and what I and you know what I'm thinking for me personally, I just want to, I want it to be very much about Wonder Woman. I want it to be very yes. much about Diana. I, want, I don't want yeah. uh, what's his face. Uh, who's the guy? What's the guy's name? I don't uh, even her know. her love interest. It's probably John or fucking some other John type. or some it, it, the dude that he uh, comes up all the love, time. But... Yeah, he just is not a Superman character in DC guys, so it's a little bit weird to keep up with him he's very consistent too he is, but, he, but he's just kind of there he's just there he never i don't really want does it a... to be a focus on him i don't I want really it to don't... be a lot about him because that's how some of these superhero in movies and female superhero movies end up being it's like oh it's a huge focus on the male character and not to the sense where it's like too much but it's like why okay, who cares like, get back to diana seriously he's a plot device for yeah all, for all we care for the most part like maybe have him do one or two things but he's a plot device. You yeah, know? absolutely. He's a plot device, and <clears throat> we're not really looking forward to him, but I just want to see Diana. The scene, the trailer where uh, her aunt and her are fighting. And oh, yeah. She deflects her with the blast. Yeah, that's, like the... I said, the new the new stuff is, I mean, all the stuff they've released is great. Yeah. But it's been mostly <laughs> action, mostly fighting, and just a little bit of storyline sprinkled in. We're not necessarily getting a frame of what's going on in uh, Amazonia. Or the Amazon, I don't remember, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, her, her home. Yeah, Demascara. Demascara. Sorry. But, at the same time, do we want that to either? Is that too much to go back into her deep story? How deep do we want the story? Do we want it, alright, all women protected by the gods? Yeah, that's true. Because that's, that's a <clears> deep maybe part not of too much she, but origin. It's a deep, well, maybe not too much origin, but... We need enough of it to give her character. Yeah, because her character is heavily I revolving agree. around that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So much so. But guys, what are you looking forward to this summer? We've got a, quite a few movies coming up. What do you guys think? We got Guardians of the Galaxy, which huge push for that right uh, now. You know huge. that you saw that they already have three pretty much confirmed from James Gunn. I don't know if you've seen that, but what? they've been posted. Yeah, he's already said three is happening. Wow, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. He says he doesn't know what's going on, but that 3 is happening. And Green that... lights, man. These things happen. I mean, look at Deadpool. Right after the weekend after it got released, it got greenlit for a sequel. It was just like, boom. Oh, yeah. Sold way more. But which... it's because they are getting these very good turnouts and very good sales. Exactly. Unfortunately, the, the industry is driven by sales, and we can't pretend it's not. You know what I mean? I'd, mm -hmm. I'd like to, but we can't pretend that this isn't driven by sales. It, it is. I mean, look, they're getting more popular. Still. Yeah. All right, so here's the other thing. How strong do we see Wonder Woman as in this movie? Okay, yeah, because it, it's hard to gauge because it seems like sh her training just started at this beginning. Right, she seems very early stage Wonder Woman. Yeah. But even then, like, which, I mean, she was fighting her aunt, dude, and she, like, kind of surprised herself by doing that, like, versus, right. like, where, you, you know, Justice League Diana would easily just probably bat her aunt off, like... I mean, honestly, yeah, she's a very she's powerful, powerful character. Uh, she's... Her... Maybe towards, like, the beginning, then. Because, like, 
may, okay, I know, I know what ends up happening is she sneaks off to train a little early. So our mom's like, okay, if she wants to train early, let's get her, let's get her good now, now, now. So maybe that rush kind of allowed her to get a good edge, but not good enough to where she thought she could stand up for her aunt. Like she had no idea she was that powerful. And if she clanked though, maybe it's just a surprise from what happened when she hit her gauntlets together. Right. Because we do know in comics. Well, like, and that's why together, we think it's that. an in early thing because like you said, Justice League Diana would obviously know that she could do that as well as several other things. I mean, she has a, she can fly in her. <laughs> yeah, she can fly. Super, super she's powerful. Got the, she's got the lasso of truth. Yeah. She's got uh, the her. I don't think she doesn't get her power suit till later, right? It doesn't happen like Justice League. Diana it takes a little bit of time, and then it, well, she gets it though. And, and then oh, that's another thing I had. How much is the lasso of truth even going to be included? Right, and how like I said, was <clears> like how, how often? powerful? Yeah, and like. Like I said, I how do we see? Because in the comics, like we said, experienced Diana is able to go toe to toe with Superman a lot of the time. Yeah, and there have been some times where she's knocked soups out, or she's beaten soups. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of, and and depending obviously on the point in the comics and the, yeah. point of the power of both of them, because Silver Age soups is a monster, so oh Primes is a monster, is a monster, even for Diana. But you know, regular Superman, I mean, she. she a lot of the time she's depicted as beating him up. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's pretty monstrous character, guys. Like, we have to... I don't know, there's not a good hint. And, and maybe no is there some type, of, some type of time skip? Is that right. her in an earlier sequence Well, of we're life? in a war, so do we see the how? what's the point in the war? You know what I mean? Because that's basically what this is. Either War 1 or 2, I'm guessing. World War 1, okay. which is... It's actually originally that, World War II, but... I thought it was originally World War One. Well, I'm pretty hmm. sure originally it's World War Two. Might be. And I'm thinking that because <clears throat> I know the original Justice League, which does not include Wonder Woman, I think, right? Because she's an acquired... Yeah, it does not. Yeah, because she's an acquired title, right? Mm -hmm. From a secondary uh, publication that uh, Wonder Woman wasn't a part of the original Justice... Whatever, Society... Or what? Not just that. I don't even remember what the original one was called. With the original Flash and the original, all those they had. A, who else was in that? It was. And guys, thanks for viewing tonight. I see Seriously. we got Shante, Aisha. I don't know what's Every... going up with my tech, but I couldn't see you guys coming in. And thanks I for have, the haircut. Yeah, I'm combination. having a lot of Thank trouble you. even seeing anything here. I see people, but I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any. Uh, yeah. Like updates. Very strange. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're down a little tech this week that mm. we would usually be using to monitor comments and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Guys, feel free to continue to comment, though. What do you think? Wonder Woman. What are we up to here? Like, what's what stage of Diana's life is this? I mean, it's got to be pretty early, seeing as how Batman picks up a picture of her in World War One and is like, holy fuck. And right, Jesus yeah. Or, oh. excuse me, Batman versus Superman. Right, so, right. Where, which is a very big hint to a lot yeah. of her stuff. I mean... Yeah. Even to the fact and then how her far game. does this go into like her timeline? Like, does right. it just eventually lead back up to Justice League? Like, where is this going to? Exactly. And there's just so much, so many questions that haven't been answered yet, and that we want as fans always. Yeah, because the DCEU and... timeline is not pieced together at all. Well, they're still building it. Yeah, they and are. I will give that to them. And like I said, I, I I'm often critical of DC here and there. Because a lot of times there's things to be critical of. Oh, but absolutely. they are they are obviously making they're making the changes they need to make. They're franchising correctly now. They you are. Know what I mean, instead of just relying on Superman and Batman, which it's okay, they're making mo they make money. They squeeze as much out of. But the that's Dark the thing. It, here's the difference. Here's the difference. And, it, and 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 people are always like making the comparison. Well, Dark Knight made this much, and Superman made this much more than. The okay, cool. But Marvel has maybe two, two three times as many movies. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you've got a Captain America line, you've got an Iron Man line, you've got a Guardians of the Galaxy line, now and you've got Spider-Man. And, and s not to mention the fact that a lot of these lines outperform the other lines. For example, so, Avengers, oh, Avengers, I think, is has outperformed Batman. Mm -hmm. uh, and everyone uses the Oscars as a as a medium for that, forgetting the Oscars are picked Job by a committee. Views, sales, all, all Right, which is figures. realistically what a production is based on, unfortunately, as we as fans might say, Oscar, Oscar, here. But, but you know. let's let's check out also actual reviews, plus money that has been made, gross income, income, all kinds of things like that. Rank, highest selling, 
best rated. Like you have to look at those right. Films as too. A, people th- look at the Oscars and forget that they're done by a committee of mm-hmm. people that are people often, who just want to choose. Well, that they, they sometimes have motives, etc. Uh, just saying. Yeah, it's money, money, money. I mean, let's the, the, this year's Oscars. I think that mistake yeah, that's was on not, purpose. I, I think you, it was. I'm telling you, they didn't put Deadpool in. He does a, definitely deserved. Well, and there's all, even well, others that they're like. I mean, how how long does it did we have to wait for Leo to get his goddamn? Well, I, pfft, yeah, eternity. And I and mean, how geez. many times this is like, come on, seriously? He could have got it for what's eating Gilbert Grape. Like he there were a million chances. There not a million, obviously, but there were so many chances where he Titanic? outperformed. I mean, come on. Yeah, and and they're always like, well, there were good movies that year. There were good movies that year, like half the time. Right. <laughs> and then the other couple. half the time, the movie that he was in maybe didn't perform as popularly. Mm-hmm. And it is a very big popularity contest. That's what we've oh, become absolutely. in America. Even but the presidency is a popularity The thing about contest. Deadpool I uh, actually saw was it's radar, and they wouldn't put it in for that reason. I could see that, but come on. Because like, kids are watching. But I'm just like, are you serious? Like Kids are always watching. <laughs> they probably, they're watching Deadpool right now. I like, guarantee sneaking you. Sneaking Blu-rays I guarantee and stuff. You. Ooh, man, all those families that walked out of Deadpool. I've seen, like, six or seven on premiere night, guys. Like, Here's the thing. What, what, what out. is your problem of not looking into that? Like, they're just used to, like, it, it was families who were used to, like, Superman and, like, Spider-Man and these PG, PG-13 even his name is it, I mean, it's rated R. Right. I mean, was, even his name is, like, whoa, Deadpool? It's like, not the even name a superhero like, name-ish thing. It's, like, <laughs> Deadpool. Ooh, that's, that's kind of kinda chilling. Even Wolverine, it's just like, would you take your kid to see Wolverine on the first night, watching him chop people up? Not even this version of Logan, but even the older versions of Wolverine. I heard some, I heard some families had to get up and walk out of Logan. Oh, I'm like, sure they freaking no did because why? Way. Oh, man, they just piss me off like that, man. Like, I think these people almost want to challenge, man. They just want to challenge the status quo, and they're like, "Well, we're gonna bring in our kids, whatever." These guys don't know what they're talking about. It'll be okay. And then they actually get in the theater. It's like, whoa, okay, he just uh, cut that guy's arm off. Lean oh, he off. just put, put that guy's face on the... Right. Oh, oh, he just sliced that guy's face in half. Oh, rep stabbed him right through the back of the head. Okay. I think we're we, getting we out of here, go. Jimmy. Right? <laughs> Son, get up. Get the kids, Cheryl! Cheryl, get the kids! But they're just all... <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what I imagined. Cheryl, get the kids, Cheryl. <laughs> right? <laughs> we are living. Oh, man, yeah. It I'm was... sorry. I can't imagine them any other way. Thank you, by the way, for Abdullah and I for coming in. Yeah, thank you, guys. And, and everyone maybe... who's watching and commenting, and by the way, keep participating. Maybe yeah, get a shirt. Some shirts, you know. You might... But, uh, yeah, movies. But besides that, like I said, we, we really lo- would love to hear more from you about what movies you're interested in this year. So hit us. On the comments or on the comic comments, like I said, we're having trouble probably seeing your comments. Yeah, it's just a little bit of trouble with the tech this week, but guys, it's comic combos. We're gonna keep on conversating because that's the best part of the Com- episode. Conversation is co- the conversation, guys. We want you guys to come join us t- this evening and conversate because we are gonna dig into a nice, nice piece of geek portion. Ooh. And the next thing we got coming up also is some of the, um, TV shows that are out right now, like there's a couple really good ones that are going on. We got you know Logan, oh, Samurai man. Jack, oh. like Game of Thrones is coming back soon. I mean it'll be Ooh, July. Jeez, oh man, and there's so much even stuff like Shield, Agents of Shield, Agents of Shield, doing Shield pretty good. yeah. And I find it so funny that it's underutilized because I hear a lot of things from people about oh I've never seen this character in a TV <laughs> show or a thing or this. For example, Deathlock. Was the one I saw. Oh, I wish Deathlock was in a show or a movie. And I'm like, Deathlock is very heavily featured in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nice. Either season one or season two. It's slightly different, but they even use uh, the name of Deathlock. Uh, and it's very, very similar like to an extreme point. With, of the comic one? Uh, very, very. Uh, there's, there's definitely some differences, but there's so many similarities. It's wow. so hard. That it's just this combo, and you're like you're seeing it evolve into this thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, so it's a good combination, right? Like and the other thing character. is, people. So like, what, like even just origin stories of characters that have been placed in there that you don't see. Like I saw an article the other day, which was 15 characters you didn't know were in Marvel shows and blah 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 or had been introduced, and a lot of them I didn't know, but a lot of them, <laughs> a lot of them I did. For example, uh, Graviton is also introduced in 
uh, Agents of Shield, wow. or at least his his I need to origin catch up on story. Agents of Shield, man. Well, it's wow. very. It's just hard it, for me to get through, man. It is, and like I said, the first season's the worst season. Yeah, Every that's se- good to hear. And it's probably goes. Hard. It's it, it, from worst to best. It goes one. Uh, I think it's either four or three because I think we're on five now. But if it's not, if we're on five, then it's three because I think it's one, two, three. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, it's three then mm. I think. Because then season four is this last season. You know what I'm liking There's about so Legion right now is that oh, we're getting man. to see some David Haller from the comics. Oh, dude, I told you, it's so great. Well, and, then, and me, loving that. And me and a friend were talking about it, and it's somewhat spoilers, but uh, it, we had talked about it because he was a possible enemy before because he's an actual enemy in a comic book arc of David Haller's, the Shadow King. Oh, I know, right? And it got, and once you think about it, it kind of makes everything else fall into place as you watch the show. Absolutely, wow. And I had thought about him being a possible enemy because in an arc where they are already doing the, uh, they were already doing Legion, they had that like this already where it's like, all right, the Shadow King comes in, and it makes David do crazy shit. I mean, so it's. You guys are theorizing that that's what's happening. We really... Well, and we'd already... Like, he was already one of the possible enemies in my mind. Mm. Like, there's only so many people who can do things to David. To David, yeah. David Haller. What's up, Sarah? Thank, Thank you, you for the comment. Oh, yeah, good. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah, decided to cut it all off, man. And so the, the like show both got a little haircut. I know. <laughs> uh, I don't know about a little haircut on my side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, haircut. right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good to see you again, Peter. Been a long time. About to toke up sometime. <laughs> Peter. Uh, but Legion is great. I've been talking to everybody about Legion and telling them how great it is. It's unique. Mm-hmm. There is no other show There's like no it. other Legion. Not at all. Not even close. And that's one thing I will say about a lot of the Marvel properties lately is there are nothing close to them. Yeah. There's nothing. I for mean, example, it's a psych show, dude. Yeah. So for example, Doctor Strange, nothing close. And I can't think of a... The, the closest you got on the DC side was Constantine. But it's such a different... And Logan. I mean... But in well, terms yeah. of media that we've, that Marvel has released, Marvel itself. I know, but I just made an even original concepts. I mean, the magic concept has been oh, very yeah. not underutilized lately. Yeah, Constantine is years and years old, um, and before that, I couldn't even think of another example that would be directly related to either of the two companies. Yeah, because um, the magic in the DC and Marvel universe is just powerful. First powerful of all. as yeah. heck, and it's it's it. Until recently, it's been very diminished. Oh, yeah. Well, and even if you check out some of the... uh, If you read current Doctor Strange, we have just now gotten past the Death of Magic arc, which... Whoa. Yeah, you gotta check it out. It's a great arc. It's the the arc that immediately started after the reboot, which it's intense. Uh Uh-oh, does Doctor Strange lose his magic? Oh, you'll have to see. You'll have to see. Wow. It's an interesting arc all around, especially just the way they layer in the story. And even, like, the post-story of that is mm-hmm. awesome, how they tie it in. So it's definitely worth a read. If you haven't checked it out, like I said, uh, the new Doctor Strange, 2016 or 2017. There's also, I like I said, I've been checking out a bunch of stuff. Doctor Strange, Punisher, Magic Bullets. What? Yeah, gotta go read that, man. It's great. Wow. It's uh, it's not like the... So it's a crossover or a versus? Crossover. Okay. So it's just like, it ends up being basically the premise without even ruining anything. Because it's, first of all, it's like an eight book long series of like 72 Jeez. pages each. But the art style is a lot of it. So the, it's, it's doing the... eight volumes, 72 pages each. Yes. They probably have a collected thing that's shorter. And here's the thing. The, the art style is a lot of the reason. They're doing the layering art style where it's the panel, then the same panel with another panel posted on top of half of it. Oh, then a panel with that yeah. panel and a little panel on top of that panel. It's a layer. Iron Fist! Yes, Jazz! I'm so happy for the Defenders. Yes. Thank you for showing Iron up, Jazzy. Iron Fist. We'll What's have up, catch Jazzy? up sometime, too. You evil, evil person. Iron <laughs> Fist. I so, can't wait. Iron Fist. Let, let's talk about this, guys, because oh, I am stoked about that. I'm so happy. And, there's so and many I'm people so bummed like, about whatever. the critics. They're like, yeah. the critics bashed it. It's going to be bad. Maybe they bashed it because they didn't know anything about Iron Fist, and it's great Iron Fist. I've seen that. I mean, Iron Fist just looks good to me. I mean, look at the, some of the humor corpse that were that I know. Are in the well, here's the thing, and it could be the that case where they put all the great stuff. But even if 
If it had ten moments, like the moment in the... I'm the Iron Fist. What? <laughs> it's like, what's that? Like, what's that mean? It's like... Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> they also did... It sounds like they're doing... And I've... It, very similarly to Legion, actually. They're doing a, lo, a very electronic composition for this. And still... If you, Do you listen mean, to like the, the music, music yeah, stuff. Dinner, yeah. Dinner, dinner, dinner. and yeah, uh, I've very... very much been liking it. Exactly. Yes. Hi, Sarah. Iron Fist is coming out. It's gonna be great. Yes. Thank goodness. We can't are wait too. Oh, oh, I'm so goodness. excited. Danny Rand. No, oh, <laughs> Danny, Danny Rand. Rand, is Rand this is a... my company. Okay. okay time to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> uh, and even like, so you do some interviews. First of all, you. Oh my god. I'm so jealous of English people who can do perfect American accents. Is Danny Rand English? Yes! Yeah. Go watch oh the interview. He's yeah. English. Totally, because he's in Game of Thrones, dude. He what? He's English. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure. And Tom Holland as well. Exactly. Jeez. You've got... and then Doctor people's... Strange. Yep. Uh, some, there's some criticism on him, but he's... He did a great English good. accent. Yeah. I didn't notice. I mean... Sound, I mean, the problem is America doesn't really have... As long as you don't sound like a specific <laughs> other don't accent. sound English. Yeah, and you're good. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, thank you exactly for the comments. Oh, my God. You you guys... Sarah and Jazzy have it exactly right. Ah, oh, I cannot wait for the Iron Fist, Kun Loon. And, and you know what, man? I know there's some people who are like, oh, it's probably not going to happen, probably not... But you know what? I'm hoping some heroes for hire type of stuff happens. I, I know. My Iron Fist and Luke I Cage want working it. together. Here's man. the thing. I see that after Defender. That's what I'm saying. Like I wanted to go into that. Like I want some crossover. And we also have happen. to have Punisher first. Oh man. Who's That's excited this for year? Punisher? Punisher. Who Guys, is excited for the Punisher like this, I am? We're not really. Yes, I should have <laughs> worn my Punisher shirt. Yeah. I should have worn my Punisher hoodie. This should have been a Punisher episode. You know what? This is a Punisher This episode. is now a Punisher episode. Go watch the kill count of John Murnithal on YouTube for Punisher. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, yes. Did, it, it, did you guys see that video that dropped in, like, November of him just spray, like just stabbing all these guys in prison? Oh, he's that's just taking that, the money. Just, that's boop, from... Boop, boop. All right, so if you haven't seen that's from, from Daredevil, Daredevil Season 2. Yep. Mm -hmm. and a lot of it was... And, like, that, mo that video I'm mentioning, too, is great. It's They do kill count videos, and the John Murnithal kill count... Uh, on season two of The Punisher is a great compilation. It just shows every kill that he's yeah that he's either shown doing or kind of implied doing. You know yeah, what I mean? Jazzy said it was awesome. It was. I it, mean, isn't it? Oh my God, he's such a good. Punisher, he is a guys. great Punisher, and they make him that very nice, deep Punisher. Like, yes, he souls. Yes, he doesn't give a crap. Yes, but the reason is there and, and this Punisher very specifically like later on the Punisher gets very desensitized, desensitized yeah. but early Punisher was very broken by what happened to his family and just absolutely he's just like he's just there you know what I mean he's not like you said not driven he's just like I just want to mess people up right now. I mean he really is the good was and it even makes like some of the stuff that happens later in season two with the with the Punisher what's going on here and there mm -hmm. uh, great and even Electra like, like I said Daredevil 2 is probably oh, as much as I love the Flash as much as I love all of DC's TV animation but that one just stands Daredevil out season the best. 2 is yeah. probably very much perfectly a comic book show it is and more, mostly because, A, you can watch it all in a row. Mm -hmm. And now you can with a lot of other series, too. But they're not designed like that. They're not. They're designed, they're designed to, be designed to be watched week to week. Week to week. With be one like, week oh, of here's what's going on in the Whereas in Daredevil the doesn't really have that much buildup because they're like, we know you're probably just going to watch this in five seconds. And each of those DC shows and those other shows, they have like this Dragon Ball Z style of like closing out and making you anticipate oh, yeah. what's going to happen in the next episode. Dude, but, these Netflix shows are just like cut off. Yep, we, we don't care. The next one. Even the end of seasons are like that. Yeah. They just, and a lot of people boom. had a problem with stuff like that in Luke Cage is very much like that, where it's just like, all right, season's done. Yeah, because he get, ends up getting in prison and then, bam. Spoilers, been out for, what, a, almost six months or more Something now? Like eight that. months? Uh, and thank you for all of our watchers. I see there's like six viewers. And like besides, we said, besides Daredevil. Oh, God. Besides that. Which one did you guys like the most? Cause like, okay, we have a pretty a great Luke Cage, but Jessica Jones. I, I just... wasn't. I wasn't. And we've talked about it. We and we will. We always rehash things on these shows because we're waiting for new stuff and we love old stuff. But I wasn't the biggest fan. I got through the series and I stayed in it for the Purple Man. 
Yeah, the and that's when it gets best. Made, yes, that was when the series actually took off. It took too long to introduce him mm -hmm. and really get to the part of the Purple Man. Yeah. I think it took like four episodes in like a 12-episode series. I mean, he's one-third of the series. I was like, whatever. <laughs> Sarah says Daredevil is the best one. Daredevil, yeah, definitely. Easily. easily the best one. And, you know, even like... But I was, we were just talking besides Daredevil, like, you know, the other ones are good. Luke Cage is good. The second half of Jessica Jones is good. The, the thing I will complain about Luke Cage is, like, the villain. Like, it's like, okay, I really like Here's the first the thing, guy I, a lot. I mean, I did, but I like the... I, I don't like the way they necessarily went about it. I think they should have chained it out better. Yeah. But I like the idea that one villain can fall... And another one, and another one will easily eat fill him in up the, and fill in the role, right? Or have been there already nice that spot. you just didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, oh, he, he pops reports out of to the shadows, right? It's like, oh, he reports to so and so, and so and so can actually mess me up. You know what I mean? It's like a really good, unexpected twist. Like you never thought that would happen. I guess if, if you look at it that way, yeah. I, I just enjoyed it because of that. You know what I mean? I don't like. I said there's. There's it obviously I didn't feel the execution was done well. I also felt it was very powerful. I mean, and there was a lead up to it very much yeah. so, and and a lot and, of the black themes and oh, I mean, there's a lot of beautiful. and there's so much subtext in the the film itself that it's hard to separate its polit subtextual political messages. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And the very powerful. I mean, the whole point of it is like, loot. You know. Black men can't wear hoodies because Luke. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and Luke Cage is now. Oh, man. He can't. He can well, and it's. And you it, know, bro. the funnier part is it's kind of that leading to thing is that the, you know, the reason why cops think kind of is comes from stuff like Luke Cage and these folk stories mm -hmm. and, and, and basically blind ignorance and racism Absolutely. and stereotyping. And it's been that way forever. It's the same stereotyping every race deals with, I mean, for the most part. Mm hmm. And it's just crazy to see how it's still so applicable to today. And it's sad to see how it's so applicable. It's very sad, man. I mean, this is, like, the things that are happening in Luke Cage, are, some of these scenes are very much similar to what's happened, period. That's yep. what they're hinting at. You know, the Trayvon Martin stuff. I mean, yeah. All kinds of stuff like All, that. I mean, and, and, and we won't get too political. No, guys, we don't. We, that's not what this is about. We'll do that on our personal pages if we feel the need. What's up, Lindsay? Thanks Welcome. for coming in. Talking hey. about some Luke Cage right Luke now. Cage Luke Cage is amazing. If you don't haven't watched it, I'm and if you don't agree, I'm sorry. I obviously we disagree. Yeah, but it's and good. You are wrong. <laughs> I'm, thinking, uh, I'm just kidding. True on both parts for Jessica and Luke Cage, but I still love Luke Cage. It Met, is great. Method Man's rap was great. Poor Pops. Oh, oh Pops, Pops. Man. Pops. Sorry for pops. anybody who hasn't seen it. We're just not. Gonna I know. Too I far. know. We won't We're just gonna say that. Much. That's it. Sorry, Pops. Pops. But the thing is, there's always... I mean, it's not like we didn't know. Coming into that episode, I knew. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? You basically There had know. to be a disconnection. There's, co there's always there conflict. Yeah. That's the nature... Why do people do dumb things? Because the story doesn't move if they don't. Exactly. And that's... You're that's, not lying, man. But it's fine because it's applicable and it's real and it feels real. That's. I think that was the other thing. I think a lot of people don't like Luke Cage because they can't empathize or kind of like relate to a lot of the topics some of the topics are and, and there weren't people I, I guess people that liked it a little less because there there were actually a lot of people who love that show oh there's a ton but the, and there's also a crowd who are like very not Ooh, like it, it's, it's and okay. it, yeah and, and even more than that they're just like they're angry at the things that it's designed for and that make it great for example having all of these uh, black cultural messages and and uh, you know just I love it. Guys. I thought it was great and like That's I said, awesome. even more than the uh, black cultural references, the minority cultural references are universal. The, the the impoverished and ghetto community. Mm -hmm. And that's that's very relatable to anyone who's been in an economic situation like that. Exactly. And so I feel like uh, urban economic situation, but still like I feel like that's so powerful. I don't know. It's it's a great show, in my opinion. It's something you should watch if you have time for and Netflix, or if you have a friend who has Netflix. <laughs> yeah, if you got a friend who has Netflix, they'll save your butt. They like, will, let man. me tell Trust you. Trust me, I, I it took me a while to get my own, but for very many years, I had a friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. If you ever have it go out, I'll just let me know and I'll let same, you know. Same here. Shoot. Thank you, Jazzy. Yeah, you're right. Meth is man. Yeah. 
The music in Luke Cage was awesome. It is every part of it in the I original. Mean, well, I mean, it's composed by the RZA, though. Yeah. I mean, how can you not? I mean, it's like saying, like, would uh, Afro Samurai not have great music? Never. Right, and Raphael Sadiq's in there. I mean, know, there's Method tons. Of... You just got musical genius. Didn't they have, I feel like there was another, like, third super big name that just yeah, blew it, it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting who it is. It's not Timbaland. It's... No, no, it's a very, I don't know. I'm not going to, we won't spend too much time on it. And we won't spend too much more time on Luke Cage because we can't talk too much more about it without spoiling stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh... Lo thanks everyone who is talking and commenting because we love Tom. You know, like I said, We're steer the conversation. Convos, yeah, it's right. combos. Let us know what you want to talk about. Convos. What was your favorite TV show? Like I said, I'm looking f so forward to the Punisher. But like I said, Daredevil two is probably my top one, followed closely by the Flash, who's been going down a little. Yeah, the Flash. I mean, the thing about these shows is like these DC shows. It almost feels like they're kind of hanging. Right? It feels like there's so much going on, but it's just like doesn't really matter. It never. Does it? Yeah, exactly. It, never it just kind falls. of flutters around. It just kind of just straight board, straight across. It doesn't go up. Like you get things, and and that's not to say it's not always like that. But it just seems they get into this funk of being stuck. stuck and now, I've, like I said, I want to watch season two of Supergirl more and catch up on that because I've heard that's great. Season two of Supergirl is supposed to be amazing. But I heard uh, what's it called? Um, Legends of Tomorrow. Mediocre. Yeah, I heard the same thing. Like I heard, I heard they mediocre. just couldn't keep watching. I couldn't personally couldn't get through Green Arrow. Everyone's always like Green Arrow, Green Arrow, and I'm like, I just don't think it's good <laughs> at all. Green Arrow's great for the first three seasons, and then it's I, just even like, that for me. Like I got into it, oh, and it's a chokehold, man. It's it's so hard to get through those episodes until you get into like half as the first half of season one. I think that's really my problem because like, and the problem is they're so long too. I mean, they're like. They're an hour long. Well, not even just that. I mean, they're an hour long and 22, 23 a season probably. Yeah. Whereas we see now we're getting the hour long Luke Cages and Daredevils 15, that are max 13. 15. I mean, yeah. When do you see more than 12 or 13? And not saying that you can't do more than that in these, these, but those shows are designed for TV runs and that's why they run that long. But Netflix is designed for a binge. And it is. It's designed for you to get to, through a season. And as comic day. book lovers, we can't get enough of it. Same for anime and manga. And Speaking of it, it's been great. Well, we'll get back to that Ooh, a little yeah. later. We'll make anime, a point. People have, asked, coming up is... people have asked, and I'm making a point to talk about man manga and anime later. Please remind me, specifically, if Jazzy, if you're still watching, I know you Remind him of anime, because go I got something to talk about, too. We got that. Uh... But there's so much good shit. Uh, but... You know, staying on this topic of TV shows, you know, we've got The Flash. And, and got... let's think about it, too. Even just, like, beyond the Marvel and DC universes... Are Netflix shows gonna be the, they're they're gonna be the next thing, bro? Oh, the, they're we've, already creeping. We've into talked that. about it, and it's just the advancement of media is it's going towards free free media and home media and stream media. You know, all these act and blah blah blah. Yes, anime jazzy says <laughs> of absolutely. My Hero Academia season two oh, coming soon, dude. I can't in wait. April April first. Ajin season two was released Hell, recently. Yes. Still, if you, I binged through it. It was great. Nice. Um, I need to go ahead and binge through that, dude. Season. I'm worried though because it's gone farther now than where I think the comic book is. Oh really? So, yeah. So it's going to take that an original turn, right? And that's what I'm afraid of, and seeing how that diverges delayed. and how that. Anyway, but like we said, for the TV shows, are we going towards that? I think we are. What's up, Jordan? Because Thanks even, for joining us. Even shows now like Legion, what's Legion got? It's a 12, 16 show run? If Episode even, wise? Yeah, or maybe I think eight. It has eight or nine, maybe yeah, ten? That's at most. No, yeah, that is a, not a lot for a first season. It's very reminiscent of The Walking Dead. With yeah, their first absolutely. season. Who, which is, I feel like they kind of got onto that stream media thing first because that's what blew Walking Dead up was it went on AMC and it was popular as a comic book. But then, I think Netflix picked up the first season almost immediately. Right there. It was like Netflix, the first season came out, and instead of it coming out before season two, it came out like two, three months later, and everybody was just like, boom, boom. done and, with that and season. everyone, and that's basically how people have been consuming it yeah. since. I mean, I don't watch it on AMC. I wait until the season's uploaded on Netflix, and I watch the whole thing. Exactly, because it's right there. It's convenient. And you, you can go move through, through every any single filler episode. plots. <laughs> right. Like, any plots yeah. that are like, all right, review, all right, too much sitting in and what's good is we ha even have sites now that'll just filter it out like yeah oh, this one's Thank not gosh. yeah because like this is, a, this is the time if it's long right and, nope. and the same with 
anime and stuff specifically, man. I had to do that for, like, Bleach le lately. God, so much filler! Bleach has so much filler, dude. I just... I think there's seasons of uh, it. There's yeah. entire seasons of filler. And One Piece apparently is moving into a filler season, I heard. Well, it's because they, they've been caught up for, like, a year. And, like, barely skimming the... the, the, the ridge of caught up Top and skin of the manga and stuff yeah it's they're like, like barely oh. barely playing catch up with breaks and stuff and it's like they can only do so much especially as the top selling top and may basically anime manga in the world quality over quantity with those kind of shows though right yeah i could agree with that one vince <laughs> yeah and that's I why jessica too. jones wasn't like it, it was really hard for me to get through like it was just hard to get through and then even though hulu has acts like you know they have access to Legends of Tomorrow and things of that nature. If I, I find myself not going back to that. No, and not only the thing is the release times are also harsh because then you still wait a week and a day. For example, could could have watched Legion on Hulu, but only today. Could have watched it yesterday. Exactly, and they're, they're not even caught up either because I tried to go watch episode well, six. And like I said, it's nice, but it's unless the series is already What's finished. What's up, Ray, Daniel, Vince? What's up, you Thanks guys? For Thanks for in, coming guys. in. We appreciate all of the people coming in. We'd love for you to come in and talk and tell us what you want to talk about yeah, well, and here what, on this episode of Comic Covers. We love comics. What did you guys want like, to see in terms of TV this this week? Oh, yeah. Like, and, you know, we, we are kind of stuck in this conundrum of like, Mar the Netflix shows are starting to almost dominate live television. Very much so. I mean, geez, it's it's easy for us to just get I've, through a season. I'll, I'll tell you what, I haven't watched live television in quite a while. I watch yeah. almost everything online through streaming sites or YouTube or Hulu, <laughs> Netflix, etc. I mean, geez, it's I mean, so easy to access now. Well, and it's just with it's a media hub. I mean, it like is. TV is just like not only that, even your TV for a lot of people with the Xbox is just right inside your media hub exactly. it's like okay it's you know, so easy to just click and Netflix and the thing is the reason Netflix is so popular like that is that immediate like people want it now the immediate gratification instant you know what I mean convenient and they granted you have to wait like right now I'm bored because I can't find it I mean obviously there's things but I don't want to find anything new on Netflix except for the shows I'm watching so I'm like, right. I want to find Iron Fist when it comes right. out that's basically what I'm waiting for and it's cool because I have Tomorrow, a date guys. they never give us more than one month before giving us something that's every you know every little niche will find something they like mm -hmm. in the releases and that's not 100% true but it's usually true enough that it keeps us here you know what I mean Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Still doing the same thing. Ah, right? but... oh, man. And then, I guess we can also just kind of scoot towards the next subject, which would be video games. Like, guys, what is up with Nintendo lately? What is up with them and, like, selling out consoles and then all of they a sudden are, they're like, I feel like that's they're it. just worried. They're like, all right, we're going to make all this stuff and not sell it. Yeah, it's like, are they just holding it in the warehouse like little children on Christmas Day? Why? Like, this is mine, Mommy. This is mine. Like, come on, dude. Release more Switches. <laughs> it's Leo been two weeks. I, I want to Switch so bad. <laughs> it's been two Leo weeks, guys. really Two wants weeks the since Switch. the Switch dropped, so and nobody much. has it. This guy at Target was like, we're not going to get any for, like, three more months, man. Like, are you serious, man? Come You're gonna on. You're going to have to go, like, sell some crack. No, I, I'm going to have to go either go to... There's two options. You either go to GameStop and pay the six hundred dollars, or you go to a buy a seller who bought it, and then you give them six hundred dollars. And it's it's not really worth either or because it's like I don't want just the console for six hundred bucks. No, and then I don't want all this extra stuff I might not use, might not want. At right that away. point, I'd rather go grab a VR system <laughs> for six hundred dollars. I'm like seriously, you pick up a I think it's either a Vive or the other the PlayStation one is like 600. yeah the VR. Yeah. Yeah, might as well get the Sony VR and just yep. boop, boop, Batman got VR. It. Yep, at least I got that. Right? I'll play I'll be vet Batman, hell. Because, I, guys, I have all these Nintendo consoles from GameCube all the way to Wii. I skipped Wii U. I should get Wii U, but I skipped it. And here we are at the Switch, and I guess it's just gone right now. Hey, man, you give it yourself. You know what's not gone? These freaking shirts. That's right, guys. Don't forget... We have the contest tonight. We're giving out some shirts. Uh, we got a couple of classic Captain Americas in here. This one. We've got uh, the Millennium Falcon. And this is like a 90s kind of themed one. It's pretty oh, cool. Definitely. we got a current themed Doctor Strange shirt here. Uh, pretty clean. Nice. And another nice Star Wars shirt here. Yeah, we'll have two random winners tonight. Whoever commented, whoever shared, whoever liked. You guys get entered in. 
Switch XL to be announced, but by that point, all the... That's exactly what You're I right. did, Vincent. That's what I did with the Xbox uh, uh, he's 360. Right about it. Yeah. That's what exactly. I did with the Xbox One. I just waited. I'm like, they're going to release the another... Cakes. Yep, they're going to release another version that's better, first mm -hmm. of all, with a game theme, usually. And uh, it'll, it'll fix oh, all the kinks. Oh, Zelda one... God, that'd be awesome. Tell me not. Oh, you know what they'll do though? They'll do a Mario one for sure. Absolutely. And then there's gonna. Ooh. Thanks really for watching, Josh. Smash Bros. Uh, for those who don't know, Josh won last week a comic. Yeah. I mean, he, we're still working on getting it to him, but that's we've worked that out already. And uh, so he's he's coming in. Hopefully, he's probably gonna get another chance to win one of these shirts. The shirts, man. They're looking nice, man. I'm happy I picked <laughs> them up for really us. Really nice, yeah. Uh, and, you know, like we said, video games, there's stuff coming out, lots and lots of stuff that we're just, like, excited about, and we're hoping the Switch gets more things, but obviously we have Breath of the Wild, good reviews coming out about that. I'm going to be talking about that for a bit tonight, guys. I got the chance to play it. I had no problem with the Switch so far. Only, down so, only downside is that Zelda is the only good game really out for it. In, yeah, but in all fairness, Breath of the Wild is phenomenal. Yeah. I ag agree from what I've heard, and there aren't that many great games out, and that's always been a problem with the n recent Nintendo since even GameCube, I would say. Like, GameCube had a decent amount, but after that... It, it's like they haven't really put out a batch of good games with release of their no, consoles. No, and I think it's even because they've limited themselves on PlayStation. Like, PlayStation and uh, Xbox really went the online... Oh, absolutely. What's up, Katrina? We're really hoping that the Switch pans out here. I mean, I we're, we're hearing good stuff. I want to. I want it to work. I want them to get in stock, and I want to get one. I uh, know, but dude, let, I mean, let's even just talk about the specs here, guys. You got a little mini screen that you could play on. You also can just play it on a big screen. You can take it as a handheld. You can break off the little controller and the two controllers. Like it's just made for the perfect functionality for it's every very type of gamer. Functional. I think it's a very much travel based one. As much it as is. it's like. As much as it is based for all of them, I feel like it's designed to be like, all right, you are on the go. You're going to have to leave your game behind. Here you go. Here you go. You're going to take it yep, with you. You're going to take it with you. Screw leaving also, your game Also, Kingdom behind. Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 remix is coming out March 28th. We also yes. Know, but, Heck and yes. as much as we are happy about that, give me three. Three. Oh, my god! I gosh. will buy a PlayStation to play Seriously, it. Seriously, can we have three yet? I've been waiting since one By came out. By the way, my... they pulled it off of Xbox. Because they're going to put it on Xbox I knew, One. I knew they would. It's, it's a not gonna It's always going to be an exclusive for them. For the PlayStation. Yeah. And I, like I said, for. I'll buy a PlayStation for it if they ever release the damn thing. I mean, guys, we're going to have to wait to another system. We're getting all these remixes, remakes. Can we just get Side three? stories. Can like, blah, it'll be blah, great. Blah, 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 blah. It'll be great to have 1.5 and 2.5 because then you can own the whole collection if you have the other one as well. So it's like, okay, you'll have the whole one. If you have both the remixes for PS4, you'll have the whole collection in front of you. Then you can get three, but let's get three. If there's a placeholder Please. date right now on Amazon for December 12th, and we all know that that's just a placeholder date. We know it's It's bullshit, not coming basically. up on 2007. They probably put that there in like 2013, let's be honest, just mm -hmm. to... They probably, that was their, yeah, they, they're like, all right, here, maybe... Now, to, to, once it gets to December, it'll be December 12, 2021 or something. I mean, it's just ridiculous, and we're very tired of waiting for it, obviously, everyone Seriously, is. I mean, and they're dropping, like, things like pictures and little clips. And, and it's too it's much like, enticement, not close enough, first Yeah, it's just like, And they've been on it for so long! They did that, they did this with Final Fantasy thirteen as well. It took them forever, but they finally came out. Leo with. played 2.8, correct? Yeah, I played 2.8. It was really, really good. Um, I heard a lot of good it. Things. Was, it's it's really nice exploring game. Like I I think the plot is good, but it's not as great as strong per se as like two and one and like. I mean, the well, main those line. are that's. I mean, that's Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I mean, that's how Kingdom strength. Hearts is, and, and the strength is there in 2.8. But I really just like the exploration. I love the fun, like little in between world games, like the little mini games and stuff i like the pet system like those little uh <laughs> creatures little dream creatures are so cute That's nice. you get to pet them and grow them and stuff and they can become pretty beastly like the more you feed them and play with them like they become really beastly companions like you're like whoa like this is beyond donald and goofy like f them because they're so good in these in this game nice but like I said, storyline could have just been a little bit stronger. I get that Sora and Riku are best friends. It's not like we haven't seen that before. Right. Um, but there's just like, I'll, I'll say the story it could be, could have been a little bit stronger. 
Oh, and and that's going to gonna happen game. with those side. Uh, those all side, side games. games. It's because they're kind of filler. You know what I mean? They are. They're they're, they're filler in for the next. <clears throat> we want Kingdom Hearts three though. We want we Kingdom want Hearts three. It's almost not even a want. It's like we demand we need Kingdom Hearts three. three. I um, mean, when did Kingdom Hearts two come out? Oh four. Probably yeah, something like oh five maybe. Almost. I don't Maybe 07, I mean, but even still, it was definitely not... Even, here's the thing, even if it was 2010, seven seven years years. ago, (laughs) seven years is a long time, and yeah, they had the little end of the game between blah, 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 but that's just too long to wait for a main story. When Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, I was in middle school. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, geez, like seventh grade or something, eighth eighth grade. Max, I wasn't quite in high school, I don't think. No. See, and that's the thing, man, that's too long it is that's an entire generation is kind of thing you know what i mean you're yeah. like how long are you really gonna wait until people aren't gonna be interested anymore <laughs> Tell all the it's like are we gonna die before we get this no we were but... in middle school more than 10 years ago it's like geez yeah that's a whole decade man like that's enough past time to decade. get past like i know people who... it came out in 2005 jeez thank you jazzy thank oh you jazz gosh. that's 12 years 12 years of waiting, I've done it, and it's still not here. Ooh, yeah, man. You put you hit the nail on the head with that phrase because we've all been waiting since after two. Can that be our they, new they greenlit it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. It's... It greenlit it after oh, two. Oh, you kids are making me feel old. Don't worry, Wes. Don't we're... worry, Sarah. You're not. We know. <laughs> it's, it's We're young, but it's so yeah. long waiting for these games that when usually games are such a quick... Quick turnaround. Three two, years three usually years, for a sequel, four. or you're waiting too long, you know? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts probably being, and Final Fantasy even does games every couple of years to keep in, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Hey, just a quick classic throwback. Ah, oh, Miss L is here, and hey, he is the you. one that specifically requested anime. We're going to be talking about that this episode as well. well probably right after this video yeah, game right, section. Right after um, the game section. And thank you for coming in. Uh, yeah, I know, right? With all my hair gone, me sound. <laughs> yeah, hair is shaved down on both our heads today. But thank you, uh, Israel, for coming in too. Izzy's the guy who helped uh, fix up the computer for Comic Convos and oh, is going to help dude, out with the MVP. laptop. MVP, thank you. Seriously, Izzy's one of the reasons this cast can happen. So everyone, give him a shout and yeah. hit him up dude. if you need a rig. Israel, thank you, man. Uh, having said that, yeah, we will get into anime, but we're still skirting a little bit of the. Uh, gaming stuff. I can say a, some new stuff coming out uh, about is, for example, Overwatch got some new champion coming out. Arisa. Oh, nice man. Check them out on the P- PVE. How's her play PvE. style? Very interesting. Very utility. And there are things that are overpowered about her because she's new. Obviously, doesn't Call of Duty come out with a new one every three months? <laughs> yeah, right. Seriously, so often. Well, the thing is, I'm not not even so pissed that they come out with it so often, but that they never change the game at all. <laughs> Like the yeah, the the, the game just game, a basically. template paste. Like, they, they just, just have improve, their template. They improve like, graphics, improve gun feel, and improve. Uh, sometimes they change play. The, the biggest change they ever did was like Future Warfare or whatever, where they had a bunch of yeah, where they basically copped they Halo. Had some jet boots, and yeah, shit. They, yeah, they, so, they copped Halo. They copped Halo they basically, did. which Halo basically did. And that's the thing. There's tons of games that go out <laughs> and of Halo's doing that now too. It's a template copy paste. Yeah, they do, but that's why. I mean, they've but. You know, besides those games, there's a lot of games. If you want to be on the new upcutting, cu- cutting edge games, like what's coming out before you even, you gotta go to basically either the two main consoles, and even them, they're gonna they're gonna fall behind the PC and on. Yep, you know, they're 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 gonna be those ones. Like you gotta check out the new stuff on the PC, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on. I'm uh, just going back to my N64 with my Rush game. Just like Far just Cry like and Far Cry, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Yeah. Yes, pretty yeah. much. I will say at least Assassin's Creed, it, after, change up not, the since, stuff. not since like 4 or so, but for the first three Assassin's Creed added shit to make the world And bigger. they were a little bit cleaner like oh. of an update. Well, gotta go, guys. Next Why time, Misa, yeah, we'll do anime and manga next time as well. So. Yep, absolutely. But... Honestly, it's going so good for the far. Thank you for all the comments, by the way, guys. We love talking with you about that stuff. And yeah, I mean, they are. They're, pa- they're copy-paste games. You're not expecting anything new. And I mean, for most games, you're not expecting anything drastically new. You want the same game with you a want new a, story. You want a little bit and of the little, same, but come on. Let's you want improvements. Yeah. All yeah, right, and, and improvements. speaking of improvements, we didn't talk about this in TV shows, so we're going to have to backtrack a bit. Samurai Jack. 
Oh my gosh. Guys, we skipped Samurai Jack. We skipped Samurai Jack, and it should have been his episode this week yeah, anyway. Yeah, Samurai Jack. Oh, man. Oh, my Thank goodness. you for the same reaction. Samurai Jack. Who saw Samurai Jack? Hands up, Hands likes, up, comments, likes. whatever. Tell, Tell us what you thought. Samurai Jack. Did you without, see it? Without ruining anything, we can say, oh my god, it was great. Absolutely Perfect. Good, man. Such a great throwback. I really thought that they did really good for such a long break. Oh, And god. It's, it's the same Jack, but with some great new additions. Definitely. Story and I think we talked about that. That's what made it great. Expansion. Is it, it kept the spirit of Samurai Jack and all the essential stuff, like the art's the same, mm -hmm. the music and story stuff. Yes, Jordan. Yes, Jazzy. Samurai yes, Samurai Jack. Jack. Woo! Gotta get back. Back to the back past. Back to the past. Samurai Jack. <laughs> oh, man. I just like the cute that was... little characters in the beginning, too. Oh, I like them until, you know, after the end of the thing, we get to the all messed up stuff that's, like we said, we can't ruin too much because it's plot. But, well, I know this has been ruined a little bit by previews and stuff by the people and the creators that Jack is having issues. Well, some of the plots. So, like, the stuff that's been released so far without not just the the show just the preview stuff and stuff was the the basic story was it's like 50 years in the future he's not aging he's not aging to, and he can't find a way back yep that was basically the premise and it goes from there in such a nice dark direction and we were talking about the dark direction things are taking lately for these very comic book anime movies it's and Deadpool, allowed it's the Logan. adult feel that they're in that allows them to create and here's expand. the thing here's the thing a lot of people are so especially n not to say normal people are different than us or we're different than normal people i say normal people and people who aren't obsessed with comic books like us mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh they're not as familiar with the fact that comic books cover a huge variety of stories not Absolutely. just that hero wins every time i mean death of superman We've House got, of M. How, oh, God, yeah. And I, I like that you've come up <laughs> on that one because that is a great series. You've got to read the Age of X series universe, Ooh, which yeah. is an amazing... I read Her one point. piece of it as a kid and thought it was like... Didn't know what it was because it was in this book. I was blown away by the Age of X yeah. series, dude. So yeah, intense. Heroes die, man. I mean, oh, heroes die, man. And that's it's the reality that we don't see in these comic book... American comic books until... You get to the more serious, in-depth ones. Well, even like Captain Marvel, his death was from cancer. Oh, it's such a powerful cap death of Captain Marvel. But Samurai Jack and other shows like it have been getting so dark and beautiful. Beautifully dark. Beautifully dark. Where the story's there, the overall feel. We talked about the overall feel was there, but there were new elements that they've added. New elements to the story. New mm -hmm. elements to Jack's personality. New elements to how the even the the feel of it yeah it's the same but it's new but it's new it's, it's and, so and this is new. the thing it's like it's almost like legion in the sense it's like it's a new very different take on something that we're familiar with yeah we're very we're very familiar with this kind of this kind of formula we're very fear and then now we're Samurai adding Jack. in we're basically we're adding, adding in ingredients stuff. that mm -hmm. are good and you know even taking out some things like a lot of the greatness of jack has been this but sometimes you pull away. Every show has that. You know Absolutely. I mean? And I feel like they've even covered some of their mistakes in this where they've gone back and said, what was wrong? What what did we not like about Jack before? Well, maybe sometimes it lagged a little too much because of the old Japanese feel where it was mm -hmm. like it didn't move the story. We didn't get younger audiences in. This one's not the case. Even with the slow-moving classic Japanese storytelling style, it's very intriguing and engaging. What I really like about this one, and this isn't too much of a spoiler, they characterize Jack a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jack has always been this character that we've looked at in the in a light of like, boom, that guy is getting back to the past. That's it. Right. We don't know too much about who Jack is. No. We, how he feels. What right. He, Jack is the stalwart you know, warrior that yeah. we don't get to know. He's a disciplined warrior and he's going to get back to the freaking past. That is who Samurai Jack always was. Mm -hmm. And that's how we, as, I mean, I mean, as children growing up saw him and now as adults see him. He grew up with us, man. I mean, he did. We saw him grow up, basically. Yeah. And 50 years. Yeah, now it's crazy, right? I feel old too now, even though we're young. Oh my and goodness. And what do you guys like? What was your favorite part for the people who did see Jack? Like, yeah, if anybody saw Jack, let us know your favorite please part. Tell us. My like, favorite part is just the new antagonists. You guys know I like talk about. I, I love them. I liked them, but mine was actually the throwaway antagonist weapon. The new yeah, weapon him too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Skiddly dee pop a doo pop beep. Skiddly dee pop a doo pop beep. He's just so weird. He's just scatting in his sores. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, that's not really ruining anything either, except for his thing. But, uh. Guys, you, you gotta, you gotta watch check Samurai it. It's Jack. so great. It's and at first you're like, so what? Good. And then you're like, oh, all right. All right. Oh, God, I'm digging this. It's definitely Samurai Jack like. So like, much so where it's those. It's like, well, oh, and just wow. those interesting concepts where, like, yes, they've done it, but it's just so unique with Jack. Yeah, it is. And, like, even the more, like, depth in depth, like you said, they made that character, and then they made that character another layer deep. And then they, you know, and that was a throwaway character. Like, that's a lot of depth to put into a character that's not going that anywhere. Was, and they thought, you know, they ended the show on this note of, like, well, you know, maybe he got back to the past. Maybe he did. Yeah. yeah and this one is very like... much, you know, we're, we're, we're in a very dark spot. Very much like Legion, and if you haven't seen Legion, so amazing, like we said. Oh, R.I.P. A coup voice actor. What? Low, he died. No, that's the not brutality good. of for the daughters of Aku was surprising yet fitting. Yeah, it was. I agree, Vince. Like it was just. Yeah, that sucks. Man, Easy. I didn't they, know that. I hadn't heard about I that. I did not know about the Aku voice actor. Was this recent? Israel? Yeah. How well recent was that? Man, that's. That is sadness. I mean, I mean, you've always he's hear such a good voice actor. Oh yeah, too, I mean, man. he's classic. Yeah, Akuz is like instantly recognizable, very cinematic, right? <laughs> in that Japanese the style. Eve. Yeah, you know, I can't do it, and that's why he gets paid the big bucks. But oh man, oh, man, that's sad. I mean, it's like you know, it's not the same as like having your favorite superhero die or anything, but definitely losing a villain is very hard as well. It would be like last year. Yeah. Oh. I guess that's why we haven't seen any of Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's oh. sad. Oh, man, how are they going to do that, though? I, I guess, guess maybe they'll just have to search a new guy, find a new guy. Well, they might be able to do what they did with General... Uh, what's what's his name on Star Wars? I mean, they... Oh, yeah, just re-image, piece together some voice clips. I mean, the thing is, is me and you... That? That's the thing. Me and you know better than anyone that we can make anyone say anything, basically. Yeah. But is it worth the time and effort it's going to exactly. take? Exactly. It's like, and are they going to do it? it it's, it's probably like a six day job to do like. And nobody. A, I don't want to do that. A minute. A minute is probably like a six day job oh, to restructure. Right. It's like, uh, no, I don't think I want to do that. No, <laughs> not you know, especially if you have classic. Samurai Jack. You know what I mean? They've already got a lot, oh, and I, I just want to. I wonder what they're going to do that. I just want to see more. I mean, after that episode, I, he, guys, I was he like, might have got really. I thought when I watched it last that they weren't a hundred percent on that though. That it was a very like mysterious thing at the end of ep- season four. Maybe it was that he got really close and failed. What do you think of the Comic Con lineup this year? The Denver Comic Con lineup? Yeah, which Pretty which Comic Con lineup? Yeah, pretty... um, I'm actually doing social media for that Comic Con or the. Denver I'm not Comic-Con. sure if that's which one she means, but I hope it is Jordan. Yeah, because if it's Denver Comic Con, there's actually some good people. Uh, it's not as impressive as Stan Lee last year. No, I can't believe I missed Stan out on that. Stan Lee. Oh, man, I didn't get to get his autograph. I'm so sad. And then he's guys. having health just, problems. I know. Oh. He canceled at the recent one. Like a New, New York. York or a Buffalo, yeah. yeah. Buffalo, I think it was, yeah. He, But, yeah, Denver Comic Con is going to have some really good people there. There's going to be Denver. a lot of Gotham peeps there. A lot of um, Gotham. Marina Baccarin nice. is there. The you know who I'm excited? They have McKenzie. some decent people coming who? in. Starfest Star has some Fest little... Does. Like they have, coming in? Oh, man, I was trying to remember. They got a couple actors from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff. A couple Star Wars actors. Well, speaking of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, in terms of, like, some of the people at Denver Comic Con, dude, there's actually a... Uh, I don't even know how this relates to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. My bad. I totally derived. <laughs> there's a few JLA uh, actors. Still, that's actors. cool, though. Yeah. There's some people from the Justice League animation, Flash, um, Wonder Woman just got announced, and then there's one other person that's gone. It's like, sweet. My so thing far. is, is like, it's so hard with the bigger cons that to get to the people and the things you want to see. Wow, Israel was lucky enough to get his autograph. I know, I'm so... Ju- Izzy's talked to me about that before. Waited in line for two hours. He, yeah, he, well, and he described the... the, the uh, Izzy described it to me. I don't know if he wants to describe it in there. But uh, he described it as being, you know, Stan, basically, you know, you got a little bit of time and people handed things to Stan. He signed it real quick. You said hi and you moved on because Stan's about 90 years old. I mean, yeah, but I mean, getting to, did you get to shake his hand? I think he did you? get it's to like, shake his hand. If you get to, if I, dude, here, it would be like, if I shake I know, Stan, even if I just like, did that. Stan Lee, hello. I know, that would make my, like, like it would make my that, life. that would go on my resume, like, shake right? Stan Lee's hand. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously, just like right at the top shaker of and Stanley's And Goku hand. and Vegeta coming to Comic Con too. Yes, I gotta get my tickets. For yes, that. Mm-hmm. I've gotta get my tickets for that soon. Damn man, I I, I love com- like Comic Con. Each day has a it's like a specialization. Like oh, Fridays yeah. is good to get in there, see what's gonna happen at the, and then di- or Saturday is just everything. I mean, you get the screeners, you got the people that are showing up to do some talks, you got the really good panels, like, you got all kinds of great things on Saturday, and then on Sunday, the freaking deals. Like, Sunday is when all the deals go on, guys. I mean, that's for every con. You gotta oh, go yeah, back to the absolutely. showroom on Sunday Sunday to get is some the deals. showroom day. Like, I don't even usually shop. He might have broke his neck looking up. He said he didn't even look up at him. Oh, uh, is he? He's, but he said he might have broke his net looking up. Right. Like I said, <laughs> I mean, I don't blame fella. it. And, and it, like, Izzy had even described some people were, like, mad at him. And he's, he's like, come on, dude. It's like 90 years old. If you made it to 90 years old, I guarantee you, your ass wouldn't even it's stand It's like, let's up. just get this signature thing over with. I mean, he's 90. He's not Stan the man who's, like, 30 years old and made the comics. Even a 60-year-old. I mean, even, like, I think he does the intro. We'll talk about that, too, because we didn't talk about some of the older TV animated shows, like Pride of the X-Men. Yeah, uh, he's the intro uh, announcer, or at least they say really? he is. Yeah, and that he's it's pilot? like yeah, and it's the eighties, so Stan's still like sixty or fifty or so, and you can tell he's vocally younger, like you can hear oh. it in his voice. Yeah, and he's getting on up there. I mean, he's already pre-recorded scenes in the next five or six Marvel films, like just in case. Yep, and oh man, I mean. The next Marvel. What's up, Kelly? Thanks. Welcome. Yep. Thank you for everyone, by the way, coming in. Remember, we do got the shirt giveaway going on. Uh, we'll throw the shirts out in a little bit. Yeah, we got... still got four shirts up for grabs. It's... There's two winners, and you get to choose from four different shirts. Yep. So, yeah, and uh, I think there's a Captain America, a Doctor Strange, and two, two Star, Star Wars, Wars shirts this yep. week. Because yep. we had no theme. So, uh, I think it's it might be time to talk about some anime and manga. Yeah, you know what, guys? There's a lot coming out of anime soon. Anime. My, oh, my, my goodness. My Goku Academia. One Piece is moving into its next arc of filler. filler. <laughs> but at least it's a but thing. But it's all right, yeah. Uh, we got Bleach in the manga is, I think, finishing off is in it? this next couple. Yep. They Jeez, about just... time. I've been waiting. I have been oh. waiting. Oh, uh, I, Jordan, if you want us to come over sometime and test the switch out for we a comic absolutely combo, will. we could even do a live demonstration. <laughs> yeah, we will. We'll absolutely do it. Uh, but we we love that. Make a video with you, and it would be super fun. Comic combos is all Shoot about us combos. a message. Uh, let yeah. us know about that. Seriously, uh, we're also. I mean, if you if you're not gonna charge six hundred dollars, you know. <laughs> but we know you guys. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Can uh, we go back to Breath of the Wild, bro- guys? That game is so refreshingly good. I've heard good. so many good things oh about Oh my AI goodness. That you, you tie in an RPG with Zelda and you still keep the Zelda principles and it comes out being like this awesome Zelda RPG game that we never have seen before. It's open world to the point where it's just so vast. You get so much in comparison to other Zelda games. Well, you know, you I mean, could explore yeah. the world in Ocarina of Time, but it was not to the lengths of this. Well, I've, like I said, I've heard a lot of the bigger differences between this and Ocarina of Time is the interaction. Yeah. That and yes, his voice. Has, yeah. <laughs> that they said people get out of the rain in this. People talk to you and remember you. Yep. People will uh, often. What's up, know, Asia? Welcome back. Thank you for coming back in. Oh man. And thank you, Jazzy and Izzy, for watching as well. We know we're, we're, we're trying to keep watching and keep plodding along and keep talking about all these great upcoming great... releases. I mean, oh, we've got so, much, so much coming up. It's just like March, just the dominoes fall, guys. Yeah, like we, we didn't even talk about it. Power Rangers is on the way soon. Marvel's Iron Fist we did talk about. And God, I love Iron Fist. Power Rangers. How Power do y'all Rangers. feel? Iffy, huh? I mean, it's... we've touched on this before. Here's the thing, but, I you gotta let go of your preconceptions, and then you gotta let go of your fond nostalgic memories because Power yeah, Rangers cause it ain't is gonna not be... holding up to time, guys. Yeah, it's not because it's gotta be Hi, different Auntie than Sherry. this. I mean, think about think about how Power Rangers was back in the day. Come I know. on, thank you for it watching. It was not cool. Thank you for watching. Um, it wasn't. It was. It was. It's a very kidsy thing. That's a very Japanesey thing. That's a very awesome it's thing. It's very like, <laughs> like Captain Go Falcon. Power Rangers. Yeah, it's like we Sword. we need a we need a reset on that. And that's the thing. I think this will be a good modernization. They did make mistakes. Alpha's voice should have been the same, unless the voice actor is dead and no. And even then, with all the voice acting talent I hear out there, no one can replicate that voice. 
I mean, Not seriously, we can. We like, try. Geez. Rangers, Rangers. Like seriously, out of a million, out of however many billion people on earth, someone's got to be able to do that. Absolutely, voice. and they can even manipulate somebody to do a voice and edit it to sound like Alpha. That one like, for me on. is worth the time. Yeah, because like yeah, if you, it's good, he's gonna have some lines. Come on, Alpha doesn't have enough lines that's gonna take you that long to get get going. It'll take you a couple days, weeks, maybe three weeks. Three I'd weeks. say for a movie yeah. with all Alpha's lines. And then, because there's not going to be that many. The problem is, and there's not going to be that many. And first of all, there's a lot of audio to go off of from the past. Because I think Alpha outlasted the original Rangers se- series. She yeah. way outlasted all the original Rangers. Definitely. From, from what I remember. I did like the dark, gritty online movie they did for Power I heard Rangers. that was really cool, and I did like it. But I also heard, you know, obviously was so not to our memory standards that people were offended. Oh, I really? Wouldn't. Whatever. It's Everyone's about, always offended about change. everything. Come on, people are offended. Like, the, the whole thing about Snoop Dogg and Trump. Oh, gosh. And and the, I, I thought that there was a really good one for that, but we won't get into it because it's all the politics. I felt like this is going to be a forgettable movie in the same vein of TMNT. Yeah, I could agree with that. Axel really likes TMNT. I like TMNT I because didn't like it. it's the only live-action adaption that got good graphics and good thing. The old one is a great uh, feel. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, right, but that's the comic that or that's the, the show. The, the show, not I the love movie. That. Yeah, but that's uh, not the movie. You're talking about the movies, and that's yeah. what I'm talking about. As a movie, it's probably the best TMNT out. No, but, the well, old ones are great, but they don't hold up the graphics. Like and the and new let's ones. hope, let's hope maybe that this is how Power Rangers is in a better sense. In the sense that it's like really good, and let's let's remember, guys, this is a reboot. It's not going to be the same Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. No, no. and th- and that's the problem. The What's same up, thing Jamie? I have. Welcome back, man. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, and that, that's very much the same thing I I see having problems with of the TMNT thing is is like a reboot. You come in with some of the old stuff, but you need to have some of the new stuff too. And people, people, it's the classic problem they talked about it on all kinds of media. People want to want change new things but they also don't like change yeah so you have to find a way to add new things without changing it i, I also like it too but i, I mean, also like I, cheesy kid power rangers <laughs> i mean i like it but it doesn't stand up to time for me no 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 i i, I go i went back and watched the uh movie guys and i was just like oh man the movie is even better than the show too it is it, but it was a little hard to get through it is the best part about the movie and here's the thing the other thing is you got to take movies in stride of when they were made into mind yeah. I, for example, here's the thing. One of the movies that What's I up, really Nate? like. Welcome to the room, man. Welcome, Nate. Uh, one of the things I really like from recent years of release, I think it's a 2015 release on Netflix, is Kung Fury. Oh, my and God. It's a yes. terrible movie, but it's a great 80s Kung flick. Kung Fury is It's awesome. a great 80s flick. It's a terrible movie, but a great 80s flick. And that's the difference. You know what I mean? There's, there's veins and pop culture things and classic stuff like that, like... It's the same thing as like making a Tim Burton esque film. Yeah. Tim Burton esque films are going to be made sixty years from now in the same style they're made now. You know, it it doesn't. I feel get... you on that. I feel you on that a lot. That movie is an ordeal to go through. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ivan Ooze. Oh my god! Ooze. I couldn't get over you. <laughs> I couldn't get over that dude. I was just All, like, man, he's I, so there was cheesy. so much funny about that movie and so much good and bad. Same thing with most old school stuff, though. Uh, and so we wanted to move into manga and anime. Yeah. And we talk about it. Uh, we both love My Hero Academy, and it's gotten its second season approved and coming. Yep, and it's coming in, in April 1st. Dropping April uh, 1st. A great one you guys should check out that I didn't mention, but that I still have the VHS movie of the Power Rangers. Same here. Hey, yep, me too. Yep. Uh, I gotta say, the new a new one coming is still Japanese stuff. They had no subs, I think, or no dubs, only subs. Uh... Uh, Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Oh, you know I very, saw a little something about very that. strong, darker Gundam. Gundam. Uh, also, once again, focused on kids. You know what? I can I could dig that, my man. It's actually cause... pretty good. And if anyone's seen Iron Blooded Orphans and would like to vouch for me, I think they're either going into season two or three. And yeah, Gundam off. Gundam was so juvenile for me. I couldn't I couldn't hold on to it. Yeah, and this Except one's Gundam much Wing. more. Yeah, and this one's much more mature, much more like worldly problems oh, and like shoot. you That's know what I'm talking about, like it, some serious problems. Right. It's stuff. like all right, here's wealth uh, disparities, and you know these people are you know 
the military co industrial complex kind of idea of and it's not like it's super new to Gundam but it's very much deeper than the old we're fighting robots nationwide yeah, and it used to just be like you know there's an evil organization and oh it was we're good the main like Gundam the characters we have to do Gundam we, unicorn we, huh Gundam Unicorn. Apparently, Izzy says he likes Iron Blooded, but that uh, Iron that Gundam Unicorn, which is showing on Tsunami, is pretty good. What's Gundam Unicorn? I don't know, and we'll, I'll have to check it out. Especially, I'm not a big Gundam person. I only know of Iron Blooded Orphans because of a reference uh, from a friend. But I will check that out if I get a chance. There's so much stuff we have backlog, guys. You have no idea all the stuff we get recommended yeah. and you have to watch, <sighs> even just personally, not let alone through the page. Yep. It, it, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Let's there's, see. We're all so bad. Like, catching up on Legion every week is tough enough. I know. I mean, Legion has been really hard to keep caught up on, but every episode gets better and better. Oh, it's better. a great freaking show. It, it just gets better and better every episode, but that's one of those that I almost feel like I wish they would have just put out on Netflix. It would have been nicer because I'm not, then I'm not anticipating for this next episode. Exactly. And, but... But I will say, because of that, I think it's actually working in the horror genre's favor that you have to wait and anticipate what's going on. They should leave bigger cliffs at the end of their episodes, which they don't, mm -hmm. except for in couple. I mean, here and there. But usually they use, they give enough of a cliff, but not a huge cliff, you know, so that you're waiting all week and like, fuck my life. You're just right. Like, it's week, just like, jeez. Like, Let's see. Ha ha. Yes, seven, seven deadly, deadly sins. sins. And yes. the second season I have seen too. Uh, I'm is very that a filler season? It's like a it's in the arc. Okay. It's actually in the comics, I believe, or in the manga, but it is very much a four episode filler season. It's not another season, is not enough to be Oh man. Also Godzilla gets the anime treatment for Toho coming out this yeah. year on Netflix. Godzilla awesome. anime. Awesome. We were talking about Godzilla and King Kong earlier, Izzy, and how yeah, they were and really how they're very stuff. Americanized in the sense that, you know, they focus on human characters for the empathy feel. The recent but, ones, obviously. Yeah, the recent yeah. ones. But the Japanese ones, I mean, it was all monster mash. It is. It's like, monster it's mash. It's all just like Godzilla comes out of the sea, there's another monster terrorizing the city, and Godzilla! he's whooping some butt. Like, that's what it is, man. The city is being destroyed. Hey, Isaiah, thanks for coming in. And, yeah, it's very much that, you know monster mash in Japanese and I think a combo is what we need yeah because we as, as we fans do. enjoy the Japanese anime and storytelling styles as well as American action and all these and other maybe things. this anime will be that also I, I've heard good and bad things about Ghost in the Shell but have you seen the Ghost in the Shell comparison clip I have not dude you gotta check it out everyone else if you get a chance to I saw it floating around on Facebook earlier there's a clip and it compares the Ghost in the Shell movie live action to the to original Ghost in the Shell and showing a lot of the preview scenes versus scenes in the movie. And I mean, it's Cleanly spot done. on. Yeah. No, I mean, when, like, so close. When like, I when I uh, saw it, the so I saw a 20-minute extended preview. Every yeah. scene. We do have the MonsterVerse coming. We're talking about that. Yeah, we'll King definitely Kong be Godzilla. coming. Up, yeah, but Hopefully Mothra and it's... Okay, please, if you know Israel, the guy, the, the dragon three headed with the three head. It's, it's like G or something. It's not... Gojira. No, it's not Gojira. Godzilla it's gum, gum, something, I, yeah, or maybe yeah, a K. I, I don't know. <laughs> that guy is. We're just. Stuck. That, they, he has a mecha as well. They, they, he did. He had a. There was a lot of versions of them. Is the thing why it's hard for us to. He had a lot of enemies. He had a TV show, an animated show. Godzilla did. Oh, Godzilla! I thought you were talking about that three-headed dragon. I'm like, what? no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, Godzilla had an animated. On but WB. he had two of them. Yeah, he had the WB one. But then before that, he has an animated show too. Oh, does he? Yeah, I think it's a Hanna Barbera one. Oh wow! Yeah, you, you remember, remember that one? Back, man. Yeah, you remember? He has yeah. his own island, and he has the babies and everything. The little baby wow, Godzilla. Wow, man! I could, I almost didn't That's remember. That's reaching back. Yeah, Jeez. I did not remember that. Until that you is up. so cool, though, that they have that. I've, and I love it. It's got a lot about Godzilla more than any of the other media. Yeah, you know, yeah. About absolutely. what Godzilla's like past and like oh and that's what i liked about that you yeah know, and that's what shows like that there. yeah true the 70s godzilla yeah, cartoon 70s. Yep. Yeah. And, that, and don't get me wrong the 90s one was pretty decent too for its season or whatever yeah, it, was, it was darker it was and more yeah. 90s you know like we said every medium has the nature and color of its time you mm -hmm. know what i mean or you know the absolutely very, very much so and it's not to say it's bad but you got to take that in mind when watching a movie it's in this time, you know. Yeah, it's like, dude, don't expect these this or that because at this time, remember, cell phones didn't exist and right. we had no well, no computers to flip open and we uh, had to go to a big tube if you wanted to. But 
Um, speaking of that, does it just seem like there's a little too much reboot going on? We need more. Well, maybe we're running out of ideas, but there's a, a lot of reboot. A lot coming of up. reaching Beauty back. Beauty and the Beast. Even uh, in the past years, we've had reboots on uh, stuff. <laughs> Blade Runner, right? Had a reboot. We've had well, reboots well, that's gonna on be a Terminators sequel. and stuff. I know, but it's still. I'm just saying, there's all kinds of stuff like that. It's where like we're there's no originals. Reboots. That was a good thing about Arrival. That was a good thing about um, Moonlight. Some of these video, those movies that came out were in the Oscars. They didn't. They were original. But even stuff like Get Out has been really popular. Uh, and just original ideas have been. And I think the problem is there's so much classic stuff. And the, and the thing is, retro has been a very big, big trend right now. Like huge, retro, huge since trend. 2010, maybe. I yeah. Think retro. I mean, throwback Thursday. You could even say this is to? the decade of retro. You yeah. know what I mean? We're going We're back to the, the 90s. I'm excited for Beauty and the Beast. I'm not. King Go. King Godor. Godor. King Godor? That's probably it, yeah. Or God... Yeah. King Godor, I guess. No, it's probably King Godor. I think you're right. Uh, you know... It's so, so great to see that stuff, though. And thanks for telling us, Izzy. We appreciate it. <laughs> you're like, I'm not excited for Beauty and the Beast. I know, I'm sorry, mixed Sarah. Mixed feels, mixed feelings. I'm just... The thing is, like, I'm not lying. I'm not excited. I think it'll be a good movie. It'll be a good movie. I'm just not terribly excited to see another Beauty and the Beast. Oh, no. Especially that Lion it's... King is going to be on point. I'll s- but we'll see, I'm Beast feeling man. the same way about that. I'm like, all right, let's see how it goes. It's I my don't favorite have... movie ever, man. I, I love The Lion Legit. King, and that's why I'm like, all right, well, let's see what the... I've seen the play. I've seen the movie. I've seen everything, and that's why I'm like, I want to see how they're going to do yeah, Also, Emma Watson, Emma Watson is looking real good. King Ghidorah. Okay. Oh, King Ghidorah. That sounds... King Ghidorah, I think. That Ghidorah. sounds right. Thank yep. you, Jazzy. Thank you. Always ever the uh, ever the smart person. King Ghidorah. That's awesome. Yeah. He he. Hopefully he pops up. Um, I'm hoping. There's some strong hints that a lot of the monsters are going to pop up. I'm pretty sure there's a confirmed Mothra. And uh, there's a confirmed King Ghidorah as well. I don't know how far they're going to go after that. But those are all the four mains anyway. So it'll be we'll like, see. Uh, we'll see you know, where they go. But, it, you know, and back, you know, we're trying to track back and keeping our thing, you know, where are we seeing all these adapted medias from Japan to America? We're getting a ton more anime adapted with uh, Roni Kenshin just got a live action, even if it's not American adapted. Well, that was the third getting... part of the... I know, but I'm just saying, we've got the Roni Kenshin, we've got Attack FMA. on Titan. Yes, FMA. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist is going to be great, hopefully. Feel your, crossed. Feel, feel your Disney, Disney side. side. We do. Oh, definitely. With I do, Star but Wars more in the Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where I feel my... I like Disney, but I'm just waiting for a new exciting title. For example, my last... One of my last favorite, favorite... Oh, no, that's a Pixar title. Uh, Disney titles that I was really happy about recently. Moana? Moana was really good. Yeah. That's about it, though. I, I Disney has not been on point for me for a little while, like... Their Star Wars and Marvel game has been I think uh, above my expectations. Oh yeah, they did way let's better. Let's hope Pirates of the Caribbean's like, gonna be good. That was I mean, really good let's too. Hope that hey, one's thank be you, good. Dre, for dropping in. Mothra confirmed at the end of King Fong, and I think it is Ghidorah. Is he? It, it's yeah, because there's well, the three. Well, not gonna, yeah. not gonna spoil. No spoilers. No spoilers. Man, going so well, going so well. Yeah, absolutely. Kelsey, what? what's up? But yeah, um, anime, anime. Back I want that. well anime and manga is the thing, and so I'm gonna drop off into a side context. You might not know too much about this because I'm dropping into a little side topic I like to call manhwa, and we're going to the Korean manhwa specifically. Wow, what is all that? So Korean manga, very much like Chinese manga, has its own little name and it's manhwa, but they have been blowing up the scene, dude. They have been outpacing regular manga, at least personally for me, and even in the like online forums and stuff. Mm-hmm. They've been outpacing Japanese manga on every really? step. And the only reason they're not going big is because they don't have the infrastructure to build on that is in Japan that there is in Korea. So, like, the manga are super popular. Kelsey says, hello. Somebody Be a princess. Your I am a Disney princess. Somebody complimented your haircut, man. <laughs> Here's the thing. Leia's a princess. And Disney owns Star Wars. And she going to be a Disney princess. I don't think she's going to, no. but technically <laughs> she is, though. I mean, whether you like it or not, she technically is now. Technically speaking, she is a princess, and she's owned by Disney. She is not a Disney princess. <laughs> 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 Moana was, was good. Uh, oh man, so looking forward though. We have a pretty good. 
lag today, but I think the internet's just been acting funky. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's all good. I'm so excited, though, for these Korean mango guys, like our manga. Uh, Tower of God is oh, one of them. Oh, Tower of God is Go- uh, God so of- good. God that's Korean? School. That is Korean in origin, so... Wow. Yeah, yeah and, that's, that and you can tell a lot bit. by the art style, but uh, originally they get they cut it in a lot of places, but the original art style is in a webtoon all the way down, like 12 panels yep. straight instead of in chopped panels like in manga. Yeah, it's just like, boop. Yup, and it's pretty cool, you know what I mean? I, or Prince, yes, you know, whatever, Disney Prince. They're kind of lame, though, most Aladdin, of them. Aladdin, I guess. Is he, though? Is he really? <laughs> Prince something prince of persia is cool uh, it's not a disney property i mean that's the thing is like the disney princes which one who cares simba simba simba's great is that a key it's like i guess yeah, he's, he's a prince technically he's dope he's dope simba gets the pass <laughs> right uh Can't the other one though besides tower of god which if you aren't reading tower of god read tower of god seriously uh, amazing and they're just climbing that mountain right that's the, tower, the yeah, tower or whatever yeah. and they're the, the whole subplot is such a dark story, and... Not too far for me. You gotta get man, farther, man. It's I, so just, good. I'm not far enough, it's and I so really good. cannot um, wait. Another one, uh, Korean in origin, God of High School. Yeah, you were talking about that. God of High School. Yep, Webtoon comics are the best. That was the other one I was gonna n- mention, no Jazzy, is no place. Yes, and I had a friend mention yes. that one to me years ago, and I finally hopped out on it a couple years ago and got into it, and it is very good. I'm caught up almost on that one, too. I can't believe you stole that from me. I was going to yell it out, Jazzy, and you stole it. I'll get you. <laughs> no, I won't. She's evil. Uh, she stole it from you. I'm going to have to live <laughs> with that. I'm going to have to live with it. But no, uh, that is a very good one, too, and it's definitely worth checking out. Like, just such a great one. There's a couple others, like, minor ones that are very cool little stories, but they have very hard-to-pronounce names that I don't save. <laughs> oh, man. And they aren't easily adapted, you know, whatever. I've read a little bit of Noblest. There's, really but, good. like, Doalu Dalu is one or doa dulu dulo i think is it it's called it's such a weird name there's tons of korean ones that are weird know, names bo, 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 bo. no trust me these ones are not in that same category like they're great shows and or not great shows great manga but they're just they're korean and they're they don't have a Did great you see that translation. clip of that sword fight that i uh yes posted? yes that's a chinese one i know that's a chinese anime i Apparently it's not been completed yet. No, it's still a but preview it looks section. Amazing. There's some cool ones. There's another one. My actually, my uncle was telling me about that. I just saw. It's it's a uh, and it's they have a uh, an a bridge series I was going to uh, audition for, but it's called Flip Flappers. Wow. I don't know if you've ever Flip heard of it. Flip Flappers. Yes, and basically it's in this weird world where it's like 1930s during World War One, and they're like fighting with magic. But then they turn into cats when they use magic, or like what? like cat people, with, you know the ears. But they use these weird, uh, these very weird leg propeller things to fly around. It's so crazy. And then it's all about then there's leg another one. propeller. Yeah. Then there's another one that's all about panties, of course, because Japan. Japan. <laughs> Always. Japan. All about the panties. <laughs> like I said, for as much bull crap as we get in, in America, like, if we went to another country, Americans would be so offended. So fucking offended. Oh, my God. Manga and anime are full of that type of stuff. Oh, my like God. And even, stuff, and even stuff that's just not socially just, acceptable here yeah. that I was thinking about, like, the fact that being a pervert in Japanese main culture is like totally fucking like yeah that's just yeah natural. it's just like oh old man perv whatever old, even some like younger people are like well yeah. no, it's usually old men but it's like very some high like, school some high school guys are just pervs and they're, it's like whatever just whatever yeah and thank you everybody who's tuning in and commenting it you guys make the stream by the way you guys make the combo you guys are we're just a couple guys just we're hanging just... out talking you guys make the conversation you guys do uh, other anime and manga that'd be good. Uh, Kamiga Kiru is getting very close to its end, as I've told you recently. If no one's checked it out, a classic is Claymore finished a while back, like oh, a year Claymore ago. Claymore is good. Yeah, well, they finished it off, so that was a great one. Uh, Jazzy, if you remember any that I'm not thinking of that our people would enjoy, I'm sure there are a couple. Uh, there's other ones that are like have you, have you caught up on uh, Dragon Ball Super. I did. I actually caught all the way up. Dude, yes, you I'm too? almost there. Oh, dude, dude don't worry. Not you're quite. Not, you're not catching up to what you think you are. How about that? Uh oh. Well, the tournament. Yeah, mm-hmm. the thing is, they're like the tournament started, and it's like the tournament's kind of started. Calm down. Guys. Oh, they they scooting kind of slowly through it. They're 
building the build. It's a very powerful. I mean, you have where where are you? Black currently? Lagoon. Black Lagoon is a great one. I don't. I and the other thing I forget about him because the English translations are different. So I read Black Lagoon, mm-hmm. but I don't know it as Black Lagoon. I know it as its original title. I'm uh the Dark Goku. Dark Goku. Okay, so you're there. You're still a bit behind. Yeah. So I'm what? Like bit behind. Sixty. 70 maybe 60 i think 65 ish yeah so you're you're going to go past that into another little arc and then into this arc but this arc is still barely starting Ugh. thank you by the way jazz i appreciate you so much the interaction you're an awesome person don't thank stab you, me thank you sarah and thank <laughs> you everybody who just came tonight thank seriously, you seriously so we're much. getting great it's just like great wow. feels again i'm i'm loving the 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 love we're getting like i said even with the uh, lack of our uh having all of our equipment like we're usually used to to share and all the stuff. Thank you, Stephanie, for liking the event. I hope you're checking it out. Yeah, thanks. Big support. Thank you. It, oh, dude, speaking of manga in Japan, I guess it's time to move over into America with mm. comics. Dude, comics. There's so much. All right, so I just, dude, I just have to see the Unmighty Thor now. Dude, un. Worthy Thor. I da, have da, to. Da, 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 da. I have, I have to see a more the Thor, Thor like right now. I need it. I need this comic to come out. Is. What is it? I've been waiting. I bet you'll be on the last years. page. I've too. been waiting for like no, it's not quite. It's five years. About five years. We've been waiting five years for this, and they they last time they tried something like this, they tried it. What they did is in the comics, they had someone whisper something, and they tried this before with Black Bolt and Maximus, where they whispered something. And then people blew it up to a million size so they could see what he said. And ruined the kind of surprise that the whisper was supposed to give. They and so seriously just like... They did. They blew it up to like 10,000 times the size so they could read whatever he put down. But he actually blew it down to 10,000 times the size and put it in. So this time in Unworthy... If you didn't gibberish. know, in the original Sin arc, uh, Thor loses the ability, the ability to hold Thor. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. He's no longer worthy. And there's tons of speculation from all kinds of different points in the story going on as to why I mean, this it, is. You, it, it, it almost is like there's a new one every week almost. It's like, geez, it could have been, you know, he gave it was it this, cancer, yeah, or was he, it, he did this. It, 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 we don't know. We and really, this is the best thing about this comment coming out is that we're finally going to get to know. We are. How did Thor become unworthy? And that's the whole thing about that, right? Is like it, we've been waiting for five whole. Not years. just that, the character has been in a standstill since then. Thor picks up Jar Jarbjorn, yeah. whatever is Jarborn or whatever, and then which is a powerful weapon, gonna, but it's yeah. not no Mjolnir, and it's the axe. And... Well, it's a celestial cutting axe, which don't get me wrong, it's a cool axe, yeah, but it's not it Mjolnir. Costs anything. It's it's not Mjolnir. It's Absolutely not. and he is so different afterwards. He loses his arms like immediately almost after that so he's one armed and has to get an arm i do like there's a i had it in the the laptop which is why i'm sad i don't have it on here maybe it's in there but the quote of uli the dwarf who made mjolnir originally who, and also made for thor's arm of black uru said wow that this arm would remain long after the universe and everything else had crumbled the dust around it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Law, this, this, when the universe crumbles and all the gods die, this arm will still be here. <laughs> that's what he said about oh, it. Oh, he's just like his arm is gonna forever be. Like I said, it was an intense. It was like, especially coming from the guy who forges forged Mjolnir to say, when the you know when everything else is gone, this will still be here. Right. That's a fucking arm, man. I wanna. Ooh, I don't even know if I want something like that. Freaking arm, like your arm will live, outlive you. And yeah, and since then we've even seen like Thor has been much darker of a character. He kills people a lot more often. Oh yeah, and he gives a lot of people trouble and just. But he's not even his presence isn't that high anymore. And plus, and they moved in Jane Foster, and eh, there's a lot. I mean, they moved her in real quick. Cool. She's a good floor. I, yeah, I have no is. complaints. I, and the the, the arc's going well. I've heard good things from Izzy about uh, Jane Foster as Thor and that whole series. However, the unworthy Thor is what we've all been waiting for, and that's to see Thor get. We just want to know. We want to know, and we want to see Thor get know, a hammer back. Right? We want to see because that's where Mjolnir we, will come back. Mjolnir, Mjolnir. We need a It's like, here's man. here's me. Oh, look, there's Mjolnir just chilling there. What's he got in his hand? Oh, Tiny Thor. Right? <laughs> it's like, no, but seriously, we want... The, those two go together, and they have for freaking 40 years. You know what I mean? 50 years almost. There's no way that we can't uh, have those two together. Right. Or at least have a reason why they can't be together. That's the thing we've all... It, it, it's like that Mjolnir is almost like a sidekick, right? Like, 
That is his hammer. That is his weapon. It's like Captain America's shield. You it want is. that, dude. You need it. And it's like you said, it's like Cap without the shield. There's no way it's going to be quite as great. Um, you know, what else do we have besides the Unworthy Thor coming up? Uh, ta- is talk- there a Captain America there's an arc coming, coming up. up. There's, yeah. not, an, there's not a series, but there's an arc there's an coming arc. up. And it's Secret Empire is coming out. And basically, it's revolving around Hydra Cap trying to take over the world, is from what this I've is heard. What I'm and it's been about. the build up since Cap, since the Pleasant Hill, since the assault on Pleasant Hill, this has been the build up. None of the other arcs have been quite, except for maybe Inhumans versus X Men, none of the arcs have been this powerful and like changing. Like, even then, it's like they said, if. I, I like the meme if arcs and reveals were like the new Captain arc where it's just like Hail Hydra Batman I killed my parents yeah, Spider-Man yeah, fuck yeah. Responsibility. responsibility Daredevil I could see the whole time like it was great <laughs> it's like literally it's the like the Daredevil one is just heart wrenching man uh, I could see the whole time guys it was all an act it was a lie I was just a regular guy beating people up Batman. Oh, I killed my parents. I'm yeah, the one who killed I told my you parents. that one was the worst one. It was like Batman it was just like What's I killed up, my Jessica? own parents. Right? <laughs> Went back in time and <laughs> I Barry Allen this shit. Oh god. <laughs> god damn it, Barry. Oh my goodness, Barry. That's that's a great one though. That was a great that's one of the reasons we love Flash is that you can we get those classic And Flashpoint and... was awesome. I mean, oh, let's yeah, be Flash honest. Flashpoint was awesome. It was also terrible, but I mean, terrible for them, yeah. But, but like, for us, it was, it was awesome to watch all the go. No, it was. It was cool. It, especially to see all your favorite heroes fighting and just going at it is insane. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And those dark versions of universes are so awesome to watch. Oh, hey, know? what's up, Cousin Sonya? Good to see you. Hey, and Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for coming in. Yeah, dude, but what else is coming out in terms dude, of comics? What, uh, what so else we, we got? Well, we finished the Inhumans vs. X-Men arc. We just finished He-Man and the Thundercats, which was I didn't cool even project. know that was out! Izzy, once again, thank you, Izzy, what? told me about that. Izzy's always on the cutting edge of these things. There's a, tons of other ones he's been telling me about that are dude, great. Dude, He-Man vs. Iron Man? Is, or, Jessica. Versus, versus Thundercats, right? Thundercats. He-Man vs. Thundercats. Wow. And and here's another cool one that I, I heard about is there's a small little hint crossover on Spider-Man uh, with where he, he's uh, the new Spider-Man Miles Morales is dimension hopping, currently uh, in his yeah. story, and he visits a little town called Metropolis. Are you serious? Yes, but and a lot of people are like, a "Is Spidey this Spidey Super Man?" They, and they've had that crossover actually. Crossover? No, but I mean Miles Morales. That's true, but and now here's the thing: people forget there is a Metropolis in the Marvel universe. Yeah, that's and true. And there is a Clark Kent in the Marvel, in the Marvel universe. universe. Who is a completely average news reporter? Please don't have him be dropping down in the air, dude. Like, come on, we need a crossover between Spidey. I think it's just a slight, and I I would love to see a new Spidey Soups crossover because they did that one. And let's just keep it at that because we don't need Soups with another, you know, Captain America Shield and Mjolnir and one. I mean, there's that was terrible. They had some huge. (laughs) That was just like wow, crazy stuff. That's overpowered, man. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, he needed to trust me for that storyline. It makes sense. There's it does, but I'm on. just like after that. Let's nope, just, let's, continue, say, let's write that like, out. Let's write that out of that. No, because it is, and I'm I'm still having to read more and more of these. Obviously, like mm-hmm. I haven't read them all. That we've got the um. I've been going through amalgam House of M. hammocks. The amalgam uh, House of M, amazing. And uh, House of M, correct me not, is the aftermath, right? Or is that the actual House of M, the uh, the alternate story of the Scarlet Witch line? It's like continuing that. I thought so, yeah. Because she's like in... So what's going on right now is like she's like stuck kind of in a stupor. And like Xavier and um, Magneto are just like, we got to keep her in here. Magneto starts telling Xavier, he's like, there's no way we can keep doing this. Because she's just... She can't control her powers. Her powers have become so yeah. overwhelming that she can't control them. So they're thinking about, you know, offing her. Okay, yeah, I know which arc it is then now. Yeah. Uh, how far are you in the arc? Did you finish? Uh, I'm not finished yet. You'll I actually got there. to the point where um, Peter sees himself in a picture with him and Gwen Stacy, and they're married. Um, and then people are starting to see the alternate realities. Gotcha, themselves. they're starting to lose yeah, it. Yeah, she's losing to... the, the fold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's a great line. That whole arc is devastating. Although the aftermath events of that arc are way more devastating Crazy. than anything that happens. I mean, Crazy, man. You, for people who don't know, and this is an old comic, so sorry, boo-hoo, 10 years old. House of M. <laughs> no spoils. House of M it follows quite closely follows the Avengers disassembled arc, where yeah, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch, Witch kills, kills 
Hawkeye, a bunch of Avengers, Vision. Vision. only like three. It's like Hawkeye, but, uh, Vision, but, and Ant Man. But it's the some really main Avengers. Oh yeah, huge names. The second Ant Man, uh, the one that would have been depicted in the movies, uh, Scott. Scott, yeah, Scott. I know it's Hank Pym and then Scott Hank Lang. Pop. Lang. Scott Lang. Scott Lang, yeah, Scott Lang kills dies. Scott Lang. Um, Hawkeye. And, and Vision. Vision. Yep. Which is her husband. Oh my god. And, the and it turns out. Vision just like dying. Melting oh yeah, into a god. guy. Yeah, it's, it's, and the after effect of that is that her mental instability is even just, more so. And basically, I don't I don't want to ruin it because it, I don't think where Leo's at, they get to the part that actually tells how it comes about that Scarlet Witch decides to do this. They've only. I think they only reveal they've that at the end. They've only scraped on the surface. Right, they've of it. kind of showed you, but they don't know really show. They just show basically the premise is that uh, the the true the vision of Magneto comes true because of Scarlet Witch, and the entire world has become mutants basically, mm -hmm. or has or uh, the vast majority have, and there's very small amounts of humans left, um, and they're all usually resistance cells. Random but, touch in. You know what? I love how the animated series of X Men actually explains the mutation thing, mm -hmm. because they're like, how are how are mutants like actually? How do they actually exist? And like, beasts is like mutation, the pollution in the air, the X gene that formed inside of us. Like, we're just humans. It's just all this pollution and bad nutrition. No, it was really was, and it was just different factors in the environment: nuclear radiation, yep. microwaves. That that was their explanation. All these X factors, which is cool because they touch on that in Logan. X. Yep. Yeah. Um. That that was the whole point. That was the X factor that gave them their powers. It was just something in the air that changed people. Mm -hmm. And very well explained in that one. Uh, touching on the pride of the X-Men, not very well explained in that. They they glanced over a lot of powers. That was why it wasn't... Uh, Wolverine had an Australian accent. Terrible casting. That probably killed the entire project. Was the Wait, biggest which one? Oh, the 80s one? The 80s one. Pride of the, Pride of the X-Men. He had an Australian accent. Australian. Straight up Australian. Not wow, kind Wolverine? of Australian. Yeah. Crikey! She's not a bloody X-Men! Oh, no, man. I'm not even kidding. No. That threw... So that, <laughs> that probably killed the show itself. God, uh, no. Then they had a very... A little bit too facile of a connection to the comics. Like, it, it, they did have a connection of, like, the storyline. But the characters weren't always well connected. Like... The ideas and visions of the characters. What I will say so is so this was a pilot. It's it was not... just a pilot episode. Oh, okay. Uh, what I will say is that amazing. Like the the description and the we're good. You know what I mean. Like the the visuals and how they the, the showed the X Men battling and stuff. But like I said, the character portrayals are mm -hmm. a little soft. Uh, with oh, the exception yeah. of like uh, Professor X and Magneto, probably Juggernaut had a decent one too. But everybody else had somewhat weaker. And those are decent characters. They were. But and you you even have like a new X Men team in this was like Cyclops, Dazzler, uh, Colossus, uh, uh, Nightcrawler. Oh yeah, King Pride. It was, it was very, very much different. like a secondary, the secondary yeah, team yeah, basically. Definitely. Um, and it was like I said, it had a good things and bad Dang, things. But Nightcrawler, that was, it would be cool to see more of him. They had, like I said, the other thing I think they had poor vo whatever company they used was like they did okay on the visuals, but the voice acting stuff was subpar compared to the original. Mm. Intro music wasn't as strong, but ah, uh, is intro any the music new strong? Oh man, yeah. and the wow, new in the nineties one, nineties. Well, great. I mean, it's one of the newer ones. Even the X Men, uh, but that's because X Men Evolution one was based on the nineties one. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was great shows, great shows. Other comics coming up, new the new Justice League is moving along with Lobo oh, in it. Oh, good. Uh, you know that's super psyched to hear this. Like you said, the Secret Empire are coming with Cap, mm -hmm. Venomverse. Oh yeah, a lot Venomverse of Venomverse stuff to tie coming. in with the movie coming yep, out which too. Which is cool because he just had a bunch of new stuff like tied into mm -hmm. all the comics. Favorite Venom, Pulse. <sighs> Hard choice. There was a lot of good ones. Like, are we talking like long term host or just temp host? Because I love Flash. I love Flash Thompson is probably the best Venom. Venom. Yeah. Nobody else has really done it like he has. They made him a hero with Venom. Venom power. Which is so hard. And Especially because made... of how Eddie Brock was. Oh, like, yeah. He was savage. I mean, and only up, only one up by What's Carnage. up, Gustavo? Yeah, thanks for coming in. Uh, it's it's going really well, man. I, I really like like all how they're getting comics and I want more animated Marvel titles please to we, God, yeah we don't get have more nearly Marvel enough. animated titles yeah what what, and what they do they don't do strong enough they'll yeah, do like a Hawkeye Hulk 
and they'll do like this and that. And it's like, come on, guys. It's these random matchups and these random like one-off movies that are just not strong. Yeah, it's like, come on, pick some good characters. Like, Marvel the- Animated has some great series, like the Deadpool one mm-hmm. and the uh, Spider. Some of the Spider-Man ones are some of their strongest series. Yes, but. Now they've just kind of fallen off. I, I do feel like, and that's where I say DC definitely does beat out Marvel oh, yeah. heavily is in heavily. animated shows. Animated shows, con- no contest. And DC movies wins. at this point. Like El- animated I'd DC put them in the and... same vein, animated yeah. shows and movies. Those are in the same vein for me, but they still oh, win. Okay. Oh, you're putting them in the same Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're the same vein, but yeah, DC still wins and kicks their ass because Marvel just doesn't do it anymore. Gotcha. They put all their movie money basket in the movies, live action. You know what I mean? And they've done some TV show stuff, but really not heavily enough to even consider. Same with Fox. I wish Fox would get up their ass and do something. Like, you have these titles and so many possibilities that we would watch. I, I just... I, I would watch three different X-Men cartoons right now. My you know faith I mean? in them is so shaky. I know they put out Logan and Deadpool, but Fantastic Four was so bad that I'm like, it could go either way with That's Fox the problem, now. though, that, like, it's either... Well, now, right now, it's either good or totally it's bad. It's either fantastic or just a, dr- Shit. a piece of crap. And honestly, either way... Uh, I will say we're getting close to our time to kind of head off here. Yeah, we are. We're moving towards that time, guys. We are. Thank you. Thank but, you so much for tuning uh, like in. Like we, we said, gotta... we're, we're going to give you uh, one last like five minutes to explain know. our t-shirt yeah. contest here. So, we, guys, we've got four different shirts. Let's see. we got this Death Trooper. This one's uh, what is this one, Axel? A large 2XL here? Yep. We've got the Medium Doctor, Medium Strange. Doctor Strange, which is a pretty nice modern style. We've got Captain America. Which is a large. Large. And it's got this kind of like throwback feel, you know? It's got that. Oh, yeah. Captain yeah, America. And then another throwback, Millennium Falcon large shirt. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. So, guys, we're going to just randomly pick some people. Based, comment in, yep. like, and share tonight. But here's the, the trick, though, is you also have to like the page or we're not going to be able to find you guys. Like, comment, combo, guys. Like the comment, combo like page. page. On the bright side, you'll, you'll get free stuff, maybe. And you'll get. The memes we release every week on your feeds. And, uh, you know, on the only the downside is you got to, you know, press the like button. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. Uh, speaking of, you know, we'll also plug ourselves a little. Uh, Axel Grave, I do music. I do videos. I do gaming and stuff. Check out uh, 3D Productions, Inc.com. Uh, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash 3D, twitter.com slash Axel Grave, twitch.com slash Axel Grave, YouTube at 3D Productions. 3D Productions and Axel Grave, I've got most of the media on there. Yeah, Just go this find guy them, is all find over. Some, we got like four releases every week three video game, one audio. Bobby and Grant AC started releasing some stuff. And he does a lot of great stuff, guys. It's stupid and amazing. He's got his video gameplay is really fun. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. It's fun I to watch myself me chuckle. laughing my ass off at that. I will say Harambe Watch comes out this week. So you have to, you gotta watch it. It's gonna be, it's called Harambe Watch. Yeah, I'll link it in the description. I'll link it in the description. Oh, you got to check it out. 